From chapter start, day three, investigation, go. Yes. A. Let's do it. Hi, Shannon. Hello, hello. All right. February 24th, 3.12 p.m., right in Cola offices. We are finishing today, Lucarian. There's no yes. question. We will go until we're done. <laughs> we will finish this. We will finish this. Uh... All right. I'm so sorry, Mr. Wright. I'm sorry for what my sister said. Flashbacks, just in case. You they just love them. They really do. <clears throat> drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to in order for him to get the verdict he deserved. I, I didn't know. I never knew that the SL9 incident was just another was just another name for the Joe Dark killings. <clears throat> Sounds like everyone's heard about these killings but me. Phoenix just like doesn't read the paper. Phoenix, get on this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a serial killer. I would imagine you would have heard about it. Right? Him. <laughs> Phoenix. <clears throat> Lana wanted Doc convicted so badly. That's why she used me. That's why she used what happened to me. What do you mean, what happened to you? It's all there in the file. Joe Doc's last, Joe Doc's last victim was prosecuting Neil Marshall. When he murdered Officer Marshall's brother, he left behind an incriminating piece of evidence. Another cowboy. Another but, what did, <laughs> <laughs> but what did you have to do with those killings, Emma? On the night Prosecutor Neil Marshall was murdered, Joe Dark tried to kill me. What? He tried to kill you? Officer Marshall's brother, Neil, was only trying to save me. Mm. So that means you... Yes. I was a witness in the Joe Dark trial. I didn't see that one coming. Uh, Phoenix, we just, like, established this <laughs> I didn't okay. see that coming. Oh my god, Phoenix. Killing me. Hi, Mermaid Princess! Hello, hello. Hey, cookie. Oh, the drama. Oh, is the- I mean, that is this game. Phoenix, write the drama. That's, like, what it is. Also, at this point, you're solving two different <laughs> murders, basically. Uh, true basically at this point. All the murders. All right. All huh? the murders. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> and I love it. Hey. All uh, right. So talk to so, her. Yeah, we want to talk to her. SL9 incident. It happened two years ago. It was right about this time of the year, too. There was a terrible thunderstorm that day, unusual for the season. I was alone in my sister's office. We were planning to eat dinner together once she finished her work. And suddenly, this terrifying man came bursting into the office. Joe Dark. It seemed like he was running from someone. He pulled out a knife and screamed at me. Rude. I didn't know what was going on. Just then, Prosecutor Marshall showed up. Jake Marshall's brother. Joe Dark tried to take me hostage. But before he could, Mr. Marshall tackled him. Then... What happened? I'll never forget it. Lightning struck, and the lights went out. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning flashed outside the window, lighting up the office for an instant. What I saw then burned a permanent picture in my mind. I... I can still see it now. A permanent picture? All right. Thank you for the biddies burning, Phoenix. Can't stay, but I'll drop these off. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for throwing love and chat, everyone. Hey. All right. So, after the incident. I don't remember the moment when Doc stabbed Mr. Marshall. So you weren't able to testify about that? No. I was only asked about when I was attacked. That must be why Lana... Well, she made up the crime. Made it up? You mean provided bogus evidence? Or... The prosecutor's office wanted that guilty verdict so badly. Lana forged the evidence and Mr. Edgeworth used it. Edgeworth? Really? Are you surprised? He didn't know, though. Oh. Edgeworth didn't know. Okay. Except 
Yes. But I'm sure he didn't know anything about it. Well, see. <laughs> he couldn't have known he was being given false evidence. Even so, that's when it all started. The rumors about Mr. Edgeworth, I mean. It's all my fault. If I could have just testified properly, none of this would have happened. So it's true, even though he may not have known it. Edgeworth really was involved in falsifying evidence. I <laughs> you already knew he was accused of that before even going up against him, though. <laughs> After that case ended, Lana was never the same. She became cold, like she is today. She must not have been able to face up to what she did, especially not to Emma. I thank you for the biddies. Objection, says Cotillia. Thank you so, so much. Objection. Edgeworth is bay, it's true. <laughs> Reportedly, the $1 for 500 bits for Twitch Prime is still going. Oh. For those that Ooh. do not know. That's for exciting. Prime. Yeah, apparently it's still going. For $1, you can buy 500 bits, which equates to $5 that you can give to somebody of your choosing. Also, uh, you can only do it once, I believe, on one account. But a he does get the short end of the stick. I mean, he is Edgeworth. Also, hold on. I forgot that I need to... Charge this thing. What the Wii U gamepad? No. No. Luckily, that does not apply to this game. No, this is unrelated. <laughs> I forgot to charge my Fitbit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was like, it's staring at me, and I'm like, ah, shit, I was meant to plug that in before we started, because my computer has to be awake. Which is kind of oh, okay. Fun. But, you know, I deal with what I'm given. Yes, only once, but still nice. Yeah, it's super awesome. It's like free money. Hey, to give to people. It's like spreading love, no matter what. I love it. Phoenix really needs everything spelled out for him. I mean, he's a special bean. <laughs> These are facts. These are facts. All right. These are absolutely facts. Hey. <laughs> spelling out Phoenix. He needs his name spelled out for him. That's fine. All right. So, the permanent picture. What did you see in the instant that crime occurred? Doc knocked down Mr. Marshall and raised his knife. Neil Marshall was stabbed right in front of this poor girl. I don't remember what happened after that. Apparently, I passed out. Well, when I came to, Lana was cradling me in her arms. Poor Emma. You've been through so much. <laughs> I thought I had to sneeze. Hold on. Surprise. <laughs> it is kind of tricky to spell Phoenix. Bless oh. you. Thank you. Because I, I couldn't spell Phoenix, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my, I don't know why, but my throat is kind of, it's not sore per se, but it's just like, I don't know. That's what I'm Shy Guy said time. for his, too. Yeah, I don't know if it's allergies or what, but I'm having a hard time holding, uh, like, talking in her voice. <clears throat> oh, no. I couldn't bring myself to testify about that instant. I tried, but the words just wouldn't come out. I drew a picture, but it wasn't any good. Two years ago. You must have been 14. That's understandable. But 15? No excuses! Right? <laughs> Once it was all over, I made up my mind. I decided that when I grew up, I'd become a scientific investigator. I want to be able to fight crime with my testimonies and find the evidence to make an airtight case. That way, Lana would never have to forge any. I see. I think I'm finally starting to understand what makes Emma tick. Are you? But there's still something that bothers me about that crime. Inky Ghost, thank you so much! Yay for free money! Thank you so much! Biddies! Thank you so, so much! All the love and chat! Also, everyone said bless you, Kita. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so, so much, Inky Ghost! Eee. Such pure goals. Yeah, exactly. Something puzzling. What's bothering Phoenix? Because I have no idea. <laughs> Let's do it. There's something that's puzzling me, Emma. What is it? You said you were in Lana's office at that time, right? 
That's right. Why would... Why then would a serial killer come running in there? Not only that, but he was being chased by a prosecutor? Oh, there's no mystery there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Joe Doc had been taken in for questioning that day. Taken in for questioning? You mean by the police? Of course. This happened at the police department. He tried to run away halfway through the inter halfway through the interview and fled into my sister's office. But oh god, Phoenix got excited. But why did he run all the way over to your sister's office? Jesus. Because the detective offices in the questioning room are right across from the elevator. That's across from the elevator? Bolana was the chief prosecutor, wasn't she? No, silly. Didn't I tell you? Two years ago, Lana was a detective. She was the best in the entire force. What? That's news what? to me. What? what? Oh my god, what was I playing recently? I don't know, but it was what? what? It was exactly <laughs> the what what that was what what? Or Sakuya, and it was amazing. It's and I was beautiful. like, oh, I wish Kido was here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. After the Joe Dark case, she was transferred to the prosecutor's office and made chief prosecutor. Lana used to be a detective, but yes. I'd better have another talk with her. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. So she was dun, 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 dun. to Lana? Yeah. Yeah. Detention So center. she would be detention. Okay, I thought so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's still locked up. Hey, bitch. February 24th, detention center visitor's room. Lana. Mr. Wright, it seems I keep causing you trouble. Falsifying evidence. I didn't think you were the type. Criminals don't mind playing foul. Why should we? But Lana, if you're wrong, an innocent person might be found guilty. Believe me, I understand the risks. Lana, Emma told me about you. Oh? About how you were a detective two years ago. And how the SL9 ex- And how the M- Oh my god. And how the SL9 incident was the reason for your transfer to the prosecutor's office. That's right. Could you fill me in on the details? Especially about that unusual change of jobs. I suppose you have a right to know, Mr. Wright. Hi, Def! Oh, you're awesome, too! Can we go shout out for Def? Steph is also a uh, robot college and he's a precious cinnamon roll as well. Support all the precious cinnamon rolls, guys. Seems like so everyone used to be a detective in this case. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Like, McCree. <laughs> <laughs> McCree he's and McCree's Marshall. brother. McCree and McCree's brother and her and uh, what's her face? Lunchbox lady. Lunchbox lady? I can't remember her name, Madam but Lunchbox. all I know... She keep fucking trying to give me a lunchbox, and I don't want it! I don't want it. I don't want the lunchbox, guys. Bento, bitch. That's her name. <laughs> <laughs> her new name is now Bento, bitch. I like this a lot. Oh Beautiful. my god, that is the perfect nickname for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so good. Uh, that's what they should have named her. Angel Star, that's her name, says Demas. <laughs> No, that's not her name. Bento bitch. Her name's now Bento. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Angel Star. Okay. Uh, <laughs> talk about today's trial. Okay. <laughs> Are you still laughing about it? I am! I really like <laughs> Bento bitch. Okay. A lot of revelations were uncovered at the, t at the trial today. Not the least of which was the fact that this case is largely connected to another one two years ago. Evidence from that case was stolen. I expected as much. I know how obsessive Officer Marshall can be. That trial, it really wasn't fair, was it? I believed in you, Lana. I believed that no matter what happened, you'd always stick to the truth. It couldn't be helped, Emma. At that trial two years ago, I sold must. <coughs> oh my god. My, my throat is giving out. I don't know what oh no. I did yesterday to it. <clears throat> oh no. But it's like... Get ugh. all the tea. I know. 
Oh no. Um, Eco, would you mind making me some peppermint tea? I'm sorry. I don't know how I heard it yesterday, but I did because I'm feeling it. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't play Splatoon yesterday. <laughs> we weren't screaming. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. It's just, I, I have no idea. <clears throat> oh no. Sorry, I'm Hi, Recruiter Pie. Yeah, go for it. <sighs> Any break you need to take to, let me know. It's just like, oh, I, don't, I can't even describe it. It doesn't hurt, but it's. It's just like failing. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's failing. It's the reason we can't have nice things. Oh my god! In Bayonetta 2, fucking Enzo it's probably allergies, consistently yeah. keeps saying the reason we can't have, he's the, like, this is the reason he can't have nice things. I'm like, Enzo, get your quote, my quote, out of your mouth. <laughs> it makes me so angry because I don't like Enzo. I mean, <laughs> he's humorous, but he's an asshole. I'm like, stop saying my quote. <laughs> Fine. Yes, tea with honey helps so much. That's that's how I drink it. <laughs> yep, that's how, <laughs> all the honey. <laughs> I don't like sugar in tea. I prefer honey to sweeten it. Yes, all the honey. So, Which, all right. <clears throat> I, I might have to be like forever later to get tea. <laughs> yeah, no, to get we have a lot to get through. So, yeah, that'll be yeah. helpful. Yeah, it'll help all with right. the voice. Yeah. <laughs> Did I say hi? Hi, Regrader Five, by the way. All right. I sold my soul. Is it Phoenix now? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I had clicked thinking you were going to get through it, and then oh, and sorry. Then the voice was like, oh, Just, like, voice. died. <laughs> all right, right. Well, all the drama aside, the fact of the matter is, at 5.15, there was no murder at the depl at the police department. <laughs> <laughs> the police department. <laughs> you know, at the that place. <laughs> At the police department. Oh my god. Tell me it's not true, Lana. What the witness, Miss Starr, said? About you stabbing Mr. Goodman with a knife? Lana, I don't understand. Why won't you tell us? Emma, this doesn't involve just me. I don't think I've ever seen Lana look so phased before. I mean, it's obvious it's not just her. No, All right. uh, pretty much every single person is involved. Yeah, except for Gumshoe. Except or if for he is, Gumshoe. he doesn't know it. And Edgeworth <laughs> didn't know that he was involved. Yeah, or exactly. Or wasn't really aware of it. Right. Uh, to, to police department. <laughs> I like to create new words by mixing around the beginning. My bad. You could Detective create new language. I seriously do that all the fucking time. It's like fucking what pig Latin. <laughs> hey, pig Latin -like. Yep. All right, uh, Detective Lana Scott. All right. It's true. I was a member of the police force two years ago. She was amazing. Ugh, they still talk about all the cases she and Chief got cracked together. Chief got. Then he was the vice head of criminal affairs, but he still worked the crime scenes. Damon Gaunt, he was everything I aspired to be. They were the best team ever. They solved crimes before the reports could even be filed. I don't <coughs> know if that's... <laughs> Emma Good. really idolizes her big sister. <laughs> but now you're chief prosecutor. What happened? I always planned on becoming a prosecutor. The reason I became a detective was... To gain experience investigating crime scenes, so you could later use that experience in court. Gunn's help in the SL9 case was critical in its resolution. After that, he became chief of police and arranged my transfer to the prosecutor's office. Maybe I should ask more about this investigation of theirs two years ago. Dark investigation. Two years ago, I was second in command of the detectives investigating Dark. Second in command? That means the chief detective was, no doubt, Damon Gra Gant? <clears throat> yes. Detective Gant and I shared the same office and the same investigations. They even had the same office. We led a team of the best detectives on the force. 
Detective Goodman, whose case it was, Jake Marshall, and Angel Starr. It was the first time Marshall worked with his brother. He was quite gung-ho. Quote unquote. Without a doubt, Joe Dark was the serial killer. We asked him to come in for questioning. We were desperate for evidence. That was when the last murder took place. When he tried to murder Emma. Prosecutor Marshall was trying to save me from Dark. You see, the first person who happened upon the scene of the crime was me. Now you tell us. All right, um, can we pause for just a second so I can make sure this door is closed? Because I don't think we ever closed it all the way. Yeah. And <laughs> last time it wasn't closed all the way, Baron managed to open it and escape. <laughs> so I don't want to chase down cats all the time. Works for me, I needed a drink. <clears throat> Right, I'm back. <laughs> it just didn't look closed all the way, and I came home, Jake was out, and I came home from dropping off my little sister at school on Thursday, and I come through the door and Jake greets me, and all of a sudden come barreling down the stairs are Tali and Baron, and I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> and they both, like, they did a stare down with Jake, and Jake's like, oh my <laughs> like, oh shit. So, then I had to try and rally them, so I don't want to have to do that again. All right. All right. First one at the scene. First one at the scene. Detective Gaunt and Prosecutor Marshall were the ones questioning Dark that day. The investigation was in its final stages, when Dark must have panicked. He waited until Gaunt and Marshall let their guards down, then fled the room. From there, he ran straight to the office shared by Detective Gaunt and myself. That's where he found me. So you were the first person to run to the scene, Lana? It appears so. I was filing some papers while Gaunt and Marshall were questioning Dark. Um. Lovers? That's awkward looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. When I returned to my office, I saw three bodies on the floor and smelled blood. Three bodies? Prosecutor Marshall, the victim, Emma, who had passed out, in the suspect, Joe Dark. During the struggle, it seems Mr. Marshall struck a final blow before he died. Joe Dark had incurred a minor concussion and lay unconscious. What did you do? To be honest, I panicked. I picked up Emma, carried her out of the room, and just held her can't blame her. After all, her sister must have gone through. After that, I placed Doc under immediate arrest. Let me get this straight. You were all involved in the SL9 incident. That's right. Quite a coincidence, hmm? I don't buy it. What are you saying? There's no way everyone involved in this trial was also involved in that incident. Just by chance, quote unquote. But that case was solved two years ago. At least one person went to extremes because they didn't believe it was truly solved. Officer Marshall? Yes. His actions came as a surprise to me as well. Ever since his brother died, he's changed completely. I guess he wasn't convinced with the ruling against Joe Dark. Life doesn't end with the closing of a case. Everyone has to live the rest of their lives with their memories. That case just might not be over yet. Emma was assaulted by Dark at the police department, right? Yes, in the office that Damon Gaunt and I shared. The office that Mr. Gaunt now occupies by himself, the chief's office. Maybe we should have a look at the uh, chief... <laughs> Maybe we should have a look at the chief's office, the site of the final SL9 murder. All right, is that what we should do right now? Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, criminal affairs? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, okay.
Oh, okay. February 24th, Police Department Criminal Affairs. I don't see Detective Gumshoe anywhere. Damn. Things seem kind of quiet around here today. Oh, wait. I think we actually have to go... I'm trying to think how we get to the police department entrance. I think we might have to go to the underground first and then go to the police department entrance from there. Because I think criminal uh, affairs is different. Yeah. But either way, uh, at least this is something. You're right. You look oh, sorry. Oh. I didn't realize you hadn't said that. <laughs> oh, uh, you're right. The head of the department seems the same, though. Why don't we go look for some other people to talk to? All right. We can come back here later. All yeah, right, okay. so, so I think, yep. Yeah, we have to go. Oh, we can go to the police oh department entrance from here. Hey, so let's works. do it. Yeah, also, thank you, Miss Magachik, for that clip. Yes. Clip. The clip of Angel Star to Lunch Lady to Bento Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, February twenty fourth, police department entrance. McCree. McCree, here he is. Howdy, Bambina. Oh, Mr. Marshall. I never thought things would turn out this way when I woke up this morning. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. You never know where life will lead you, eh, Bambina? I should have known my luck had run out when old Billy dried up this morning. What's old Billy? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Billy? Must be his pet cactus. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it? Oh my god! <laughs> That's exactly what we're calling it. That's... Uh, no, no, mind. I'm gonna shut my mouth. <laughs> hey, where were you headed? Just over to the prosecutor's office for a little interrogation. It's a voluntary appearance, but we all know I won't be coming back. What are they gonna do? Kill him? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but you can't go in the evidence room today, partner. But, Mr. Marshall, why did you do it? Why do prospectors head west? If ever there was a case I needed to know the truth about, it was this one. Before you turn yourself in, Mr. Marshall, would you mind telling us exactly what happened? Hmm. Looks like I won't be getting a steak lunch today. He does have Dark a problem. Dark trial. Dark trial. <laughs> Something was fishy about that trial from the beginning. It wasn't just me either. All the detectives thought so. What do you mean, fishy? Some of, the, some of the facts reported were inconsistent with the evidence we found. For example, the murder weapon. The murder weapon? You mean the switchblade knife with the broken tip? That was Joe Dark's all right. But in the initial autopsy report, a question was raised. Question? The blade of the knife was not a perfect match with the wound the victim sustained. What does that mean? It means there's a good chance that knife was not the murder weapon. <laughs> However, in the report that was finally submitted, that possibility has been erased. Could the facts have been concealed with forged evidence? That case left behind scars on all of us. The scars that the SL9 incident left behind. Scars remind us <laughs> that the past is real. Anyway, um, <laughs> prosecutor Marshall. Oh my god, thank you to be fair for my pet cat. Just split. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Nani? Exactly. Prosecutor Marshall. I got the looks, but he got the brains. He was one of the best prosecutors around. I had just made detective when it went down. It was our first case together. How old was he, your brother? He was 27 at the time. He was awarded the highest honor that very day. The highest honor? You don't mean. King of prosecutors. Edgeworth, don't die. 
No. No, Edward. Not that again. What are you looking at me like that for? That's an honor for a prosecutor. Mr. Marshall must have been really close with his brother. The day the SL9 incident took place, that wasn't the same day as... That's right, it was the day of the evidence transfer. Huh. Interesting. It was drizzling that morning and by nightfall there was thunder. I can't believe two years have gone by already. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. Apparently someone tried to stop you. Detective Goodman was murdered. And the evidence locker was empty. Also, uh, his brother kind of looks like Phoenix and McCree had a baby. Because <laughs> he's got Phoenix's face. <laughs> oh my god. Don't tell Edgeworth. No, because that's that's what Kita that would be Kita's quote, so that wouldn't work. What'd I say? Uh oh, his pet cactus, is that what we're calling it now? Oh. But I wasn't the one who said it, so. Hi, Bella Coco! Hello, hello. Hello. Scars. Scars. And I'm never gonna unhear that song, that's why. I know. There was something going on behind the scenes in that case. We all knew that later. Every detective involved in that investigation, save one, was taken care of. Miss Starr was fired and I was demoted and boxed away in a tiny room. What about Detective Goodman? They did something to him too, the commissioners would the commissioners would get suspicious. No, they were careful enough not to be too obvious. They? Who are you talking about? Don't get upset, Bambina. I mean Damon Gaunt and Lana Sky. Of course. Gaunt and Sky. Although Chief Detective Damon Gaunt and his second in command, Lana Sky. Oh god, that means I'm gonna have to voice him later in the trial. Oh yes, no. you will. Oh no! You know what? <laughs> I know. I'm trying to get through this. <laughs> no, I just have a hard time pinning down his voice is my problem. Yeah, I get you. I mean, eh, sometimes they fluctuate, especially when you have a bunch of characters. It can be kind of difficult to keep everybody straight. If you were doing just one at a time, it would yeah. be easier. But when you're switching between them. And I don't mind when, like, I obviously have Star's voice down. I have the judge's voice down. And he's, like, in between them, so it's hard to, like for me to keep it consistent. But like especially if you if you were talking as one right before him, right? And fucking Meekins, at least I can I can pinpoint Meekins. Oh Meek my god, right? Meekins. I, I have he's... him down, but he hurts my voice. <laughs> yeah, I think he's I gone actually, anyway. My throat hurt the next day. I was like, "Damn, Meekins." Yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah. Just give him Pegasus' his voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my god. I Oh my god, this is amazing. Anyway. There wasn't a person on the force who hadn't heard of that duo. That case was the biggest step in both of their careers. After the case ended, Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office, right? Yeah. Damon Gaunt, the new chief of police, arranged for that to happen. She's never been the same since she left. On. Sorry, uh, River came in with tea for me. Oh, Eco, Eco, get your woman some tea. I think he's. I, I don't know if he's working on it or not. I don't think he said anything. No, he, like, I don't left. know if he heard. I yeah, but he's him. in chat right now, which is why I said that. Oh, okay. Thank I you, River. Him. <laughs> but oh, okay. He so might. I don't, I don't know if he heard. <laughs> I think this is on fire, so I'm gonna wait. So. Oh, the tea's too hot. <laughs> it might be. I think it just got made. All right. All right. Everyone who knew her said so. Hello. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey, you know, I just didn't know if you heard me because you didn't respond. So I was like, I don't want you to... 
<laughs> he just immediately did tea. Well, thank you so much. He knows exactly what he knows exactly what to do. He does know what to do. He goes on top of it. Thank you. Hey, we made all the river. honey. All the honey. Five gallons of honey. Batch, come here. Let me prove it. A different shade of maroon. That's magenta. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mean to, did you? What? Match. <laughs> it's not that much different, baby. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Me and River have a really bad habit of accidentally matching. <laughs> It happens so fucking often. It used to happen a lot in college too, and people would literally every day remind us we match if it ever happened. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm at Cheap Prosecutor's Guy. Yeah, I think mine's a little scalding Still not to drink just yet, but in a second. Nico, you're, you're awesome. Be... Yes, you are. Thank you, honey. Eh. What kind did you get? I think it's mint with honey. Mine's peppermint. A herbal is good. Um, for boys stuff. Black tea and green tea actually aren't. So <laughs> that's legit. I would never have known. Also, caffeine is bad, so like coffee and stuff. Or teas with caffeine. I may or may not have had coffee in the beginning of this trip. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, combating it. Chief Prosecutor Sky was totally different when she was a detective. Now that he mentions it, Emma said something like that too. Tell me, what happened to my sister? Sorry, Bambina, but her secret is too well guarded. I never found out. Lana's secret. It all started two years ago. So there you have it. That's my story. Did you enjoy it, partner? It was certainly enlightening. Not really. It was kind of boring. No. <laughs> it had no flashbacks. Zero out of ten. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> There's one thing for sure I found out in court today. That boy Edgeworth isn't my enemy. Aww. He was the one who used falsified evidence to get a guilty verdict. But someone else was the one who gave him that evidence and planned everything. That someone is Damon Gaunt. Don't believe me? Well, I don't blame you. I won't even be a patrolman after today. Lug. Oh. Okay. Lug, lug. Too bad I won't be around to work with you. When you become a real scientific investigator. Cute. Adios, Bambina. Aww. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> also, no, I don't have cat cam for Phoenix Wright because I never had it set up, so. It, Not only I'm that, just... but a lot of times it makes OBS freak out. Yeah, so I just don't worry about it for Phoenix Wright. But. Oh, my God. Okay, so <laughs> we want to go back to criminal affairs and then go into now Don's office from there. Yeah. Oh, great. Yay. So. Let's do it. February 24th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. This place is always pretty empty, but today it's deserted. That must mean everyone's busy solving crimes. Oh, uh, if you're looking for the others, they're all in the conference room. Uh, thanks. Wow, he actually talked to us. With the chief prosecutor saying what she did and the decision about what to do about Mr. Edgeworth, not to mention our statement to the media in tomorrow's trial, there's more chaos going on than Thanksgiving and Christmas put together. I think festive is the word usually used for those. Um, so we'd like to have a look around Chief Gaunt's office. Just head across the hall to the other building and take the elevator to the top floor. Really? You mean, it's okay for us to go in there? I mean, we aren't police officers or anything. Hey, you're right. You can't go in there. It's off ah. limits. God damn it, Emma. Ah. Now I see where Detective Gumshoe gets his unique charm. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head to the chief's office. 
so we're gonna go anyway, I guess. YOLO! Fuck the police. Oh my god, fuck the police. Hi, Tia. All right. So, Chief's office. Yep. Hi, St. Patrick. Oh god, this oh. office is so extra. My word! <laughs> <laughs> that is elaborate. Okay. The organ of Feb plenty. <laughs> February 24th, Police Department Chief's office. Oh, you can't even hear the music. I can't. I can only imagine. Oh. Whoa, where am I? In the chief's office, silly. At least, that's what it said on the door. Check out that pipe organ. That's real, isn't it? Hey, I used to take organ lessons in kindergarten. They used to call me Little Miss Bop. Of course they did. I thought I was a genius until they tried teaching me notes. Oh, I'm assuming bad organ noises. It was just loud. Oh, okay. I never could remember where C was. Uh, get mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay. Oh, it's you two. Poli er, police, er, police, again. Chief Gaunt. He put that paper he was reading on his, in his desk. Oh, so he was hiding something. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. So, Mr. Wright, have you been swimming lately? Uh, what? Uh, no, I haven't. I've been kind of busy lately. I can appreciate that. I've had my hands full, too, with Mr. Marshall's conduct and Lana's provocative statement. Provocative statement? Oh, you mean about the forged evidence? Two years have passed since that incident. My, how time flies. See that big picture on the wall over there? Aww. Cute. What is with that suit of armor on the right? Yeah. <laughs> that is holding a knife to her boob. Her yeah. boob is under... under what is that? It's just, po it's uh, just pointing out the nipple for us. It's really... <laughs> just in case lesson? it's, uh, this... It's here. It's right here. This is where it's located. <laughs> just <in case> she <laughs> it's just trying to teach everyone anatomy. It's, it's fine. It's a learning tool. All it's there for. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fine. That's a picture of Lana, Neil, and me. So this is Mr. Marshall's brother, Prosecutor Neil Marshall. We took it to commemorate our work together. That's, something's not right with this picture. Uh, like the knife <laughs> pointing out a boob. <laughs> it all kind of... It's a knife, but it kind of looks like a turkey baster. <laughs> Which brings more questions. <laughs> so they're into some interesting things, it's fine. <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it, though. Well, the knife can. <laughs> Get team picture added to court record. Great, we're gonna have to point that out at some point. Yeah. Also, thank you, Ernie, for that clip earlier, by the way. <laughs> So good! Queen! <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> I have to, like, not have a laughing face for him. It's fine. <laughs> Hold on, let me smooth my face. <laughs> Things are about to get serious. Oh my god, no, it's making it worse. <laughs> it's fine. Sorry, I just, like, dumped more oh. honey into my tea and it made a very gross <laughs> noise when I was doing <laughs> So I'm sorry if the mic picked it up. It was like I a squishy noise. Uh, oh my god. My face is fine. Alright. Mm. <laughs> my face is fine. Okay. Ooh. He's really distracted by his hair. Yeah. He's like, oh, what's this? I'm <laughs> boing. Oh, what is this? I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to I'd like to reminisce all day. But there are matters that need my attention. I'm going to lock up here, so let's go out together. Oh, of course, how convenient. Oh. But this office, it was a crime scene two years ago, wasn't it? That case has long been since over, since there's no need to investigate it. There's no need to investigate it anymore. Shady. All the same, we'd still like to have a look around. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, there's no need to investigate it anymore. Oh, shady bitch. Ah! 
Now hurry up and get out. I have a meeting to attend. I don't trust this motherfucker. Looks like we aren't welcome. It seems that case isn't over yet, after all. Oh, over with you. What do you mean? Chief Gaunt denied our request to search the crime scene. That means there must be a reason he doesn't want us looking around in there. So let's break illegal rules. We should. Laws, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, like, a clue? A clue, a clue! <laughs> There's gotta be a way we can get inside the chief's office. Scaling the wall? Wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Just scaling the wall. All right, let's go back to criminal affairs department. Okay. Ah, the tea is fine. Oh, so good. February 24th, police department criminal affairs. Hey, pal. Detective Gumshoe, were you in a meeting? I was, uh, just taking a breather. My feet hurt. Mm -hmm. From sitting so long in the meeting. Actually, I had to serve everyone coffee. It sounds like Detective Gumshoe is still out of the loop. Say, have either of you seen Mr. Edgeworth? I probably have at night, but I'm not going to admit it. <laughs> Edgeworth, no? <laughs> Edgeworth. No, who's no. that? Who's that? I have no idea. Why do you ask? He's under fire from both the police department and the prosecutor's office. It's almost like the battles between you two in court and under the sheets. And, under the <laughs> and in bed. That sounds serious. Is it because of what my sister said? Probably. That's basically what it all boils down to. That falsified evidence two years ago. Bless you. Okay. Oh. Now Mr. Edgeworth has the whole world after his blood. That's not all they're after. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, hi Rain! Hello! <laughs> Come on, on. Is that the other Rain? Oh, that is the other Rain! <laughs> uh, so, Edgeworth's Crisis. But why would Edgeworth be blamed? It's not like he knew the evidence was forged. Lana Skye is the guilty party here, isn't she? Regardless, the prosecutor is responsible for the evidence he presents in court. Not only that, but as you know, there have been a lot of rumors going around about Mr. Edgeworth. Those who don't like him haven't been able to do anything because of his... All right. Amazing talent as a prosecutor. <laughs> but now with this... Are there really so many people who hate him? In our world, only those with talent rise to the top. Mr. Edgeworth not only had that, but he's young. There's no better recipe I know of for making enemies. Hey, hey Dick! Keep up the good work! <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go out for lunch again sometime. My treat! Yes, sir. You gotta take me back to that joint sometime. Okay, Dick? Yes, sir. It seems you don't have any problem with enemies. Yeah, well, I'm careful not to stick out. Anyway, I'm a bit worried about him. Under all this pressure, I'm afraid Mr. Edgeworth just might crack. Oh my god. <laughs> all the rains. That's why I was saying, like, Somali is probably easier, because then we'll get confused when I say rain, and then they're like, which rain? I think it's confusing for everyone. Oh, we got lovers. Thank you, Ernie, for that clip. The best. Oh, my God. I saw nine incident. Actually, I took a look at the file earlier while the coffee was brewing. He seems genuinely concerned for Edgeworth. Oops, no. He does love her. Well, he loves him. Well, did you find out anything? The only evidence Dark left behind was during his final attack. His final attack? You mean... 
when he killed Prosecutor Marshall, who was trying to protect some girl. <laughs> some girl who's standing right there. I mean, supposedly that's what's happened. Yeah, I have a feeling it's the other way around, because yeah. there's literally no other plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> Me. It seems Detective Gumshoe never realized Emma was the girl. That's when he left the most incriminating evidence of all. Well, what was it? Oh, uh, let's see. I think it had something to do with the murder weapon. Oh, I forget. <laughs> Look, it's all written somewhere in here, okay? His powers of recollection never fail to impart. I mean, same with you, Phoenix, so let's, <laughs> let's <laughs> not judge anyone else for that. Maybe we should show him the murder weapon. It might jog his memory. Dark's crimes. Crimes. I'm gonna do that first. Uh, no, let's do the knife. Show him the knife first. Present it. Wait, where is Present it? it. Uh, the broken one, right? Yeah. Switchblade okay. knife. Switchblade knife. It just reminds me of fucking Rocky Horror. Anyway. Um, how about this? About this. I like. Um, about this. Hey, don't tell me that. It has a tag attached to it with the label SL9 Incident on it. I believe this would be the broken murder weapon you were speaking of. What are you doing with that? Ever since that case was closed, that knife's been locked away in a locker. On the day Detective Goodman was murdered, it suddenly disappeared from the locker and was found in Mr. Edgeworth's car muffler. That's it. Now I remember what that incriminating piece of evidence was. Well, that's handy. Convenient! <laughs> when you showed me that knife, it all came back to me. Well, what is it, Detective? Quick, before you forget again. <laughs> Hurry up, you'll have the memory oh, of a okay. goldfish. <laughs> True. Hey, so, Tom. should we do crimes or murder weapon first? It doesn't matter. Let's do dark crimes, then. Alright. Joe Doc was 42 at the time of the crime. He was just your run-of-the-mill businessman. A businessman? What made him take to serial killing? Supply and demand. <laughs> One day, he was on his way home from work. He hit someone with his car. Well... <laughs> Well, that's a casual way of saying it. I was an idiot who took a drink of water right as you said supply and demand, so <laughs> I had to try so hard not to spit out my tea. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. With this car? So it was on accident? An accident, yes, but it transformed him into an animal. Oh, that's how it works. Yes, he became a werewolf. <laughs> When you hit someone Lupin. with your car, it activates Lupin the now. werewolf curse. <laughs> <laughs> then now you're just bloodthirsty, it's fine. An animal. He killed a man that witnessed the accident. Then he killed the lady who saw the second time. A kid walked by just then, he killed him too. Well, okay. Oh Gumshoe. my god. <laughs> Gumshoe, calm down. <laughs> a dog <laughs> came upon the scene and was killed as well. Finally, he turned himself in. I like that you stuck to his voice when he said that. It's like he's talking to himself. Wait, like, hold up, man. Oh my god. Uh, it seems he was pretty careless. Seems he was a pretty careless animal. It was a wild animal. Of course, this is all conjecture. Well, there wasn't a single shred of evidence. So he turned himself in. Yes, but in the middle of his questioning, he fled and murdered his final victim. <laughs> he just had that need. Yeah, he's just like, oh, I must murder. <laughs> must murder. Prosecutor Marshall. That crime was witnessed by someone too, but fortunately he was arrested on the spot. It's a good thing that last witness wasn't killed. <laughs> That's usually right. <laughs> I know. It's a good thing! Aww. That last witness! He must mean Emma. That's awkward. That's good so thing you awkward. weren't killed, little kid. Good thing! Oh, well, you know, it could have been inconvenient. Yeah. <laughs> not, not like a problem. 
All right, murder weapon. This knife. It was Joe Dark's, wasn't it? That's right. We traced it back to the store he bought it at, and it had his fingerprints on it, too. But no one actually witnessed him using it to murder anyone, right? That's where his luck ran out. When you take a good look at the knife, you'll see it's broke. <laughs> you gotta take a good look to, to see that. So good. You don't have to take a good look to notice that. Yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> Take a guess where the broken off tip of the knife was found. In his butt. <laughs> That's what did him in. I'm gone. That, I'm just I'm just oh laughing God. now. I'm gone. It's too late for me. <laughs> can't take anything serious. I now. can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, supply and demand. Thank you, Miss Fucking <laughs> Yes. Oh my god. Uh where was I mean, it? you would know red. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Red said if you suddenly feel the need to go buy a dozen eggs and spit on them, it might be a weird burb. <laughs> red would know. Red would know. <laughs> <laughs> the victim, Neil Marshall, was carrying it inside his own body. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was found deep inside the stab wound. But... <laughs> Did it match Drake's <laughs> Drake? <laughs> he's spitting some sick beats <laughs> while he's stabbing. <laughs> Did it match? Call Dark's me on my telephone. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> Did it match Dark's knife? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Down to the last fiber. <laughs> That's pretty conclusive. Autopsy report. Yeah, that's a court record. <laughs> Switchblade knife also had a. It was already there! I guess it got updated. Yeah, I think they just got updated. Well, there you have it in a nutshell. That's all I know. Can, can I ask you one more thing? What's your relationship with Edgeworth? <laughs> I must know. <laughs> oh my god. What is it? If it's money you need, you should ask Chief Gant. <laughs> Chief Gant. Apparently I'll give you 50 bucks, no problem. <laughs> it's not money, but it does concern the Chief. His office is a crime scene, right? It's where Prosecutor Neil Marshall was murdered. The Chief's out now and his office is locked. But we'd like to have a look around if that's okay. Well, any detective's ID card can unlock the door. <laughs> that doesn't Thanks. seem like great security. Sweet, I have Goodman's, let's go. What, really? But if I let a civilian in there, I'd be charged with breach of trust. Don't worry about it, we got Goodman. <laughs> breach of trust? Simply put, I'd be canned. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry, oh. pal. I don't plan on getting fired because of you. I, I would imagine that if you would get fired, it would be because of me. <laughs> that, I mean, it would be no surprise to anyone. How about this ID card? It was Detective Goodman's. <laughs> that won't work either. The day it. it was deleted, the day he died. That was quick. Wow. Convenient. Well, he's dead. Delete his, delete his life's work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, in other words, Gumshoe is our only chance of getting into that office. We're gonna get him fired. <laughs> we are gonna get him fired, it's true. I wonder if there's something we could show him that would make him change his mind. I've got this lovely steak I could get from the bento bitch. Um, in case you were wondering. Alright, so we want to go to Edgeworth. Oh, okay. Move. So, we need Edge to go to the... Uh, entrance park. and then yeah. the office underground parking lot and then we have to go to Edgeworth from there. Jesus. Jeez. We're doing it. Uh oh. The stream is clip rich, it's true. February 24th, prosecutor's office underground parking lot. That's because we can't stop laughing. It's true. Thank you guys for all them <laughs> clips. It's amazing. And I'm dying. It's fine. I'm fine. 
No one's here today. Not even Miss Star, thank God. Maybe she choked on one of her bento boxes. Slap that out of her hand. Pop up queen. <laughs> Go. <laughs> uh. Everyone's probably busy looking into what exactly went down in the evidence room. That must be where the detectives are. But we proved in court today that no one was murdered in the evidence p.m. on the day of the crime. Yeah, I thought we were finally making some headway in our case. But instead it looks like we just ended up making Lana look even guilty. Hang in there, Lana. I've got to find all the answers by tomorrow. I mean, we've done it many times before. Uh, yeah. We Thank really you for have. that clip, Myra. We have. So let's go to Edgeworth's office where everything matches including February 24th, High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. I wonder if Edgeworth is back yet. There he is. It looks like he's writing something. Hmm, what are you doing here? He sure was quick to throw that paper on the floor. <coughs> it's a love note. It is a love note! <laughs> <laughs> Tough day in court? Huh? Hmm. I've had to live the past two years with rumors flying around. What's another allegation to me? Cheer up, Miss Edgeworth. I'm rooting for you. So is, uh, Phoenix and, and uh, Gumshoe. Gumshoe. <laughs> That's Edgeworth for you. Always trying to hide his real feelings. You would know, Phoenix. You would know. Give me one second. Rude. <laughs> Oh, Phoenix and Edgy fan fiction he's writing. Yeah, he had to hide it real quick. <laughs> oh my god, thick clip material. <laughs> I'll take all the clips, thank you. You'll take all the clips. <coughs> all of them. <coughs> Jesus. And then choke on tea. It's what I do best. Once a day, I'll choke on liquid. It's fine. <coughs> Usually water. This is the first time it's been, like, anything else than water in a while. No, <laughs> mm. uh, I choked on rice a few days ago. <laughs> rice? <laughs> yeah, it sucked! Oh my god, I, like, painful. inhaled the rice. Panda Express. Oh god, fried rice. The esophagus hurts. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really good at accidentally breathing while eating and drinking. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm still alive. No, let's not put that out there. I'm alive. We're fine. <laughs> I live great. I'm lucky. Don't entice people to try to murder you by saying you're surprised you're alive. <laughs> That's just making it a challenge. Don't. No, please. <laughs> uh, someone was- <laughs> So Tomato said it's the Phoenix edgy fanfiction he's writing that's crumpled up on the floor. <sighs> also, I may have to get more tea in a couple minutes. Okay. So. He's re writing reader insert in more ways than one. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Alright. So, what do you want? Unlike some people, I don't have all day. Rude. What do you think we're doing? Just having fun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, forged evidence. There's no excuse for what I've done. Two years ago, I used false evidence to obtain a guilty verdict. That's when it all breaks down. That's what it all breaks down to, and nothing I can... Nothing I do can erase that fact. But you didn't know, did you? I mean, the, the evidence was falsified. The police department and the prosecutor's office share a bond of trust. If that bond is broken, we stand to lose everything. The police department's error is my error, my responsibility as the prosecutor in charge. No, so that, is... that fact remains this... That fact remains... That fact remains the same no matter what excuses I might have. Mr. Edgeworth. I take pride in my work. So tell me why. Why has it all come to this? I'll comfort you. Even Edgeworth can't keep this kind of emotion bottled up. Come here, let's cuddle. Aww. Let's cuddle. Let's cuddle on that couch that matches you. And my tie. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Thank you, TV fam, for putting the straw poll. Yes, guys, don't forget to vote for the straw poll if you guys were not here earlier. We are deciding what game we're going to be playing on Kita's channel for Chill Tuesdays. Alright. Uh, tomorrow's trial. Go. Getting close-ish to being done with the investigation. Boop. 
Ooh. We're like probably two thirds of the way done. Sweet. Sweet. That's unusual. I'll take it. Right? Yeah, I'll take it. <clears throat> Tomorrow's trial. Doing it. Are you up for the trial tomorrow? Hmm. First, last year's trial, and now this one. It seems all you do is worry about me. To be honest, you're getting on my nerves. Don't lie. You love it. He does love it. He's just playing hard to get. <laughs> but Mr. Edgeworth, you can't just walk out on the trial. Tomorrow is the last day. It's too late to change prosecutors. I'll bet that's what my superiors are banking on. I never thought that the case would come back to haunt me like this. What do you mean? That list of evidence. It seems too short. Most lists run twice as long. It's only half as long as most lists? That is odd. After Neil Marshall was murdered, I became prosecutor for that case. I may not have been part of the investigation, but at, but at the time there's only one thing on my mind. I'd use the evidence I was given to prove the suspect guilty. Say, we just saw a picture taken around that time. That picture? Something seems strange about it. <laughs> like the knife? <laughs> like so the boob knife? Like the boob knife. Should we present the boob knife? Let's present the boob knife. <laughs> also, hi, Crested! That little couple. Oh my god, we have so much OTP. freaking crap. OTP! We have so many things. Oh we my god, really so many. We really do. Alright, so Yikes. dance take a picture. Ugh, there we go. Right? Yep. Okay. This picture was hanging on the wall in Chief Gun's office. Did we just take the picture? We either took the picture or we took a picture of a picture. One or the other. With a Polaroid? <laughs> Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He had just started making a name for himself. Looks like this was taken when he received the King of Prosecutors trophy. Speaking of that, there's something that bothers me. Yes? The trophy Mr. Marshall is holding. It's a little different than yours. Yes, you're right. It is? I remember now. Remember what? That was the official prosecutor trophy used until that time. Ah, it's a broken knife! The broken piece was the broken knife from the trophy! He stabbed him with the trophy! Anyway, I could be wrong. But Good I'm job, Ben. <laughs> anyway. I mean, if you want to just tell the rest of the story, I'll just sit here and sip my tea. I I'm just excited! <laughs> I figured it out! <laughs> I think, maybe, watch, I'm totally wrong. It's there's a... <clears throat> there's a story behind it. Story? Sounds interesting. Would you mind telling it to us? It's simple, really. Contradiction. That's what the award's based on. Alright, oh, okay. <laughs> it's the piece that's stuck in his butt! Okay. Uh. <laughs> he got a trophy in his ass. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All right. The day of the crime. Day of the crime. I can't spoil something I don't know. So, <laughs> cat spoilers. Just... I'm banning you. Oh, damn. <laughs> Ban. Damn. Ban. Ban from my own chat. Ban from your own <laughs> chat. Your own stream. That's fine. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Could you tell us again about what happened that day? The day... The day Detective Goodman was murdered. You were participating in a ceremony over at the station, right? I've never cared for ceremonies, but I had to attend that one. Because you awarded this. Which doesn't have a knife. <laughs> doesn't. Those receiving awards can't exactly skip out on the ceremony. I finished up at the office in the morning and then drove over to the police department. You finished up at the office? <laughs> you would know, right? <laughs> Was it with Gumshoe? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yes, just odds and ends. Clerical stuff. Oh, I didn't okay. plan on returning to the office that day. That is, until I was asked to take something back. Take something back? 
this. Oh yeah, Chief Gon asked you to hold on to that, didn't he? Yes, it was a piece of evidence in a case that was closed half a year ago. He asked me to bring it back to the prosecutor's office. That's the story we heard yesterday. So you came back here to the prosecutor's office because the chief asked you to? That's right. That's okay. Prosecutor trophy! <laughs> this award originates from an ancient Chinese tale. Oh. In Chinese, the word contradiction is written with two characters. The first means halberd, and the second means shield. Have you heard oh. this story? Me? Uh, uh, sure. Everyone knows that. Why don't you tell it, though? For Emma's sake. It's totally for Emma's sake. Very well. Bedtime stories. I have the best stories. Long ago, in the kingdom of Chu, there was an arms merchant. One day, he presented the king with two items. The first was a halberd he claimed could slice through any shield of, or armor. The second was a shield he claimed could withstand any weapon. Well, that's definitely yes. contradictory. Hence the contradiction. Objection! <laughs> Those claims contradict each other! Guys, throw your objections in shit. Very perceptive. But then again, you've heard this story before, right? Anyway... As you mentioned, the very descriptions of these items discredit them both. When the king pointed this out, the merchant was left speechless. And thus the Chinese word for contradiction was born. <laughs> oh, I see. So the chipped shield and broken knife symbolize... Precisely so. They symbolize the merchant's items. The ancient tale ends with the merchant at a loss for words. But in our... But it's in our nature to pursue matters to their conclusion. Even if it results in something as ugly as this. Wow, thanks Miss Edgeworth. I learned something new today. That's funny. If that's so, then why are you only given the shield? You'll have to ask Chief Gaunt. Two years it could ago. accidentally kill someone again. Mm -hmm. Or make people realize like that it could be used for that. <laughs> Two years ago, he had the halberd part of the award abolished. Chief Gunt. King of Prosecutor's Trophy updated. Add to the record. Alright. So. Do we move? Um, Back to. Hold on. What's his name? No, we need to look at the uh, piece of paper. Mm. On the floor. Examine? Yeah. Can we do it while he's here? Oh, okay. Yep. Hey, Edward, hey, let's look through your this? fan fiction. <laughs> let, yeah. me look, let me look through your crap. The one on the floor? Mm. Mm -hmm. Doing it. Yep. I wonder what he was writing before. Come on, Mr. Wright. Let's take a look. Are you crazy? Edward is standing right there. Just distract him. I'll check it out. I'll distract him. Uh, Hedgeworth, uh, uh, look at this! Pulls down pants. <laughs> that distracted. Anyone hey, work? Uh, hey, Edgeworth. Is that Detective Gumshoe out the window there? Oh no, he's falling to the ground! Hold on, first let me see what this girl's doing crawling around my feet. <laughs> he didn't even look. He knows your tricks. Oh no! What letter of ri If you can't read, I'll read it for you. It says letter of resignation. No! Hey, no. no. Resignation? Edgeworth, you don't mean... I'm tired, Mr. Wright. As you well know. <laughs> I feel as if something inside me has died. But Mr. Edgeworth, none of it's your fault. I know the path I've walked. You don't need to tell me. And the path I've walked hasn't been a just one. I can't forgive myself for what I've done. And no one else should forgive me either. Uh-oh. I think he's serious. Mr. Wright, please, you have to do something. 
This letter of resignation. I wonder if I can use it for anything. Guilt trip. Put it in Guilt a pocket. Guilt trip gumshoe. <laughs> oh my god. Do we need to examine anything else? Nope. We can head to... Sit on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi, Whitney Scoops. Hello. Alright. Uh, and so... she can come work with Phoenix now. Yeah, come work with Phoenix. Yeah, anyway. But then we'll never see him. I'd be sad. So move. Sorry. So we want to go to the underground parking lot. Oh no. February 24th, prosecutor's office. Underground parking lot. Oh no. Excuse me. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> bento bitch. It is bento bitch. Oh Would either of you care for a quarter pound of roast beef? Miss Star, I guess she's out of lunches. You certainly are cur the curious sort, aren't you? Oh, kind of like the first person who sucked a <laughs> What? <laughs> kind of like the first person who sucked a cow's nipple to discover. I can't say that seriously. <laughs> to discover milk. Okay. <laughs> Still, I never thought you'd go digging up that case from two years ago. Everyone in the trial was in, in this trial was involved in the SL9 incident. Not only that, but the murder occurred on the very day of the the very day the evidence from that case was due for transfer. This can't be all be <laughs> this can't all be attributed to mere coincidence. Aren't you forgetting something? You know that little scene I happened to witness? Hey, fuck off. The instant Lana stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. No matter how much of the past you dig up, it won't change what I saw. Roast beef is meant to be savored when eaten. Miss Star's hatred toward Lana. It all dates back to two years ago. Okay. Uh, I read to Crow 2. I was like, uh... Crow's nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dark investigation. Joe Dark. That's a name I'll not soon forget. Alright. We- Ah, oh, in the lower left, that's his brother. Mm -hmm. We trailed him for half a year. Oh, the pressure. Still, I don't think I was ever more alive than I was then. Those days were steamier than a bowl of hot gravy. Oh. Poor old Jake, though. Uh, poor, poor old Jake Marshall, though. Must have been going through hell. You mean because of his brother's death? They were close, those two. After Neil died, something took over Jake. He became obsessed. Seeing Jake like that made her all the more desperate. Her? Lana Sky. My sister. The best of the best were put on that SL9 case. Of course they were led by the that it, it, of course they were led by that legendary duo. Lana and Chief gone. <laughs> Thank you for the clips, guys. Thank you, Eco. Thank you, Myra and Dre. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, after the case closed. That legendary pair was the reason we were able to keep up our investigation. That's why we're so shocked over how it turned out. You mean with the forging of the evidence? Don't get me wrong, Joe Dark got what he deserved. Still, it was obvious the evidence produced in court was m being manipulated. Items our team never found would suddenly appear, while other items were kept secret. But you didn't have proof anything illegal was done. I'm proof enough of what happened. Are you, though? Deep. After that case, all of us save Goodman were relieved of our duties. Most without even so much of an explanation. Then Lana Sky transferred to prosecutor's office and became chief prosecutor. 
Everyone always wanted to be a prosecutor. Nothing's quite as simple as it appears. Huh? Lana Sky was merely being used as a pawn. That's my take on the matter. She was... Uh, she was being used? Okay. Legend... Oh, I, I picked on accident, but legendary duo. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Flashback. We, they really like this. This drawing as well. They do. Yeah. At least we don't have to hear that creepy music anymore. <laughs> Two... I didn't have to, but you guys don't have to listen. Two years ago, Gant and... Gaunt was chief detective and Lana second in command. They were the best. They solved all kinds of cases together, didn't they? Damon Gaunt's magnetism in particular was almost unreal. His magnetism? And by that I mean his ability to attract evidence. He'd produced the most incredible evidence in the cases. Incredible evidence? You mean forged? Oh yes. There were rumors about him even back then. No one dared confront him, though. I take it she's talking about forged evidence. Back then, everyone looked up to Lana. All the detectives wanted to be like her. Really? Oh, yes. Myself included. I was a fool, really. She hated everything crooked. Crooked? Crooked? Crooked. She hated everything crooked and always watched out for the other detectives. That's why she was so concerned for Jake. Mr. Marshall. When Jake's brother was murdered, she felt as if she had lost her brother. If it wasn't for her, I don't think Jake would have ever recovered from his shock. That's what makes it all the more infuriating. Miss Star. That's why. I'll never be able to forgive her. Why did she have to turn so cold after that? All right. Some hard feelings. Being used. Lana transferred to the transferred to the prosecutor's office two years ago, didn't she? Yes, thanks to Chief Gaunt's powerful influence. Chief. That's right. Having solved the SL9 case, his position as chief was secured. There was only one thing left for him to control, and then no one could stand in his way. The prosecutor's office. What? You mean, that's why Lana was transferred? If he could control the chief prosecutor, he could control the person. <laughs> he could control... God damn it. He could control the prosecutor's office. That must have been his goal all along. But how could he control Lana? I don't know, but one thing's for sure. Ever since that case ended, she's never been the same. It's only logical to conclude. There must have been a reason for her change. At last. I'm finally getting close to the bottom of this ugly mess. Thank you, Miss Star. You listen to me, rookie. It takes more than just ingredients to create fine cuisine. I hope you turn out to be a better chief than I've been. Chef. Wow, I can't read. Chef. <laughs> better chef. It's fine. All right. So let's go <sighs> to uh, criminal affairs. So we're going to have to go to the police department entrance first. Rude. Yeah, we have to keep police going department back entrance. here. Huh. I guess stare at this badger. Yeah. Move. <laughs> Criminal affairs. February 24th, Police Department Criminal Affairs. Oh, you're back. You're still here? I gotta make 150 copies of these files. Brewing coffee, copying files. I'm turning into a regular DJ. <clears throat> you're a DJ as well. If I'm not mistaken, I think he means desk jockey. Mm -hmm. Oh, that DJ. Gotta admire your persistency, but my answer's still no. I'm not letting you into the chief's office, period. It'll be my neck on the line. That office is the last crime scene in the SL9 incident. I have to take a look in there. 
There's got to be something we can do to make the detective change his mind. Yeah, well... Present something? Yeah, we want to present Edgeworth's letter. Oh. Be like, he's gonna... Uh, oh! He's leaving, so you better let us in. He's gonna be so sad! He is, that's the point. Hi, little miss watching your food. That's so mean! Okay, so, uh, well, present letter of resignation. Yes. There we go. What's this crumpled up piece of paper? Processing. No way! Mr. Edgeworth can't be serious. Is he ever not serious? I can't believe they've pushed him this far. Mr. Edgeworth really feels responsible. At first, I thought he was as cold as ice. <laughs> Their love story. Their but love now story. I know different. He trusted us detectives to provide him with sound evidence. But we just... We betrayed him. Detective. That's it. I've made up my mind. But... Here, take my ID card. We can't do that. If someone found out... They wouldn't let you off the hook without another lost item report. Look at me. It's no secret I'm already out of the loop. After all, I'm friends with Mr. Edgeworth. Depending on how this case turns out, I may already be as good as terminated. What? So at least let me do this. For Mr. Edgeworth's sake. All right, detective. Thank you. Gumshoe's ID tucked swiftly into your pocket. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll! So move. Yep, we want to go to Gon's office. office. Yeah, there we go. The extra office. The extra office. Of February extra. 24th. <laughs> Police department chief's office. Here goes, Mr. Wright. <laughs> the best beep. Best beep. Best beep. Oh my god, it's a statue! Open sesame. If anyone finds I'm us now. By it. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe's a goner. Did you say you're gonna go stand by the boob knife? No, I was saying Emma, don't stand by it. Oh. If uh. that happens, I'm counting on you to bail me out. I'll do it. It yeah! <laughs> What just happened? I don't know. Oh, because he, they weren't expecting him to be there. <laughs> I guess so, but... <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. <laughs> I didn't even know you could slap a ghost. <laughs> ah! Ah, Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> what are you doing sneaking up on us like that? I wasn't sneaking. I was just worried something might go wrong. So I came too. Oh my God. If you're here, then what's the point of you giving us your ID card? Crumpled Gumshoe's ID card in pocket. Wow. Hey, don't do that to my card. Rude. <laughs> Damn, Phoenix, what the fuck? <laughs> I hardly ever get a chance to come in here. So I figured I'd have a look around myself. Besides, we're all in this together now. You really do want to get fired, don't you? <laughs> Not if we're lucky. Now come on, let's see what we can find out. I've got a bad feeling about this. We always have a bad feeling. So examine? That's because everything always goes wrong. It's true. Also, is this the last scene before investigation is done? Um... I'm wondering if I should get more tea. Uh, we have this and then, like, stuff to do here and then we have to go one more time to the detention center, but we don't have much left. So you could probably hold, hold off till then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's talk to Gumshoe first. Okay, talk before we do stuff. The chief's office. That desk on the other side of the room. Was that your sister's? Yes. That's where I was waiting for Lana on that day two years ago. Is anyone using it now? No, sir. This is entirely Chief Gaunt's office now. He practices a strict policy of preserving the crime scene. 
That's a strange reason to leave it here. He leaves it as a warning to everyone else. He wants us to always be alert. He told us so himself at our New Year's party. Of course, he was pretty intoxicated <laughs> at the time. Oh, okay. Well. I see. So, ever since Lana left, no one ever touches that desk. No one except Chief God and the cleaning lady who's in here each morning. Still, two years have passed since that incident. There can't possibly be any clues remaining. Hi, Fimo. Where am I? Hello, hello. Uh, Squeaky Stop. Beeper. I just thought Sneaky Beaky. Oh my god. Sneaky Beaky! Sneaky Chief Beaky. Gun. That's what we're being right now. It's true. Being we're sneaky sneaky Beakies. Beakies. Alright, so let's talk about Gaunt. Uh oh, hold on. Done. I gotta, oh, I, gotta plug, I gotta plug it mine. Oh god, it's dying! Revive yeah. it! The batteries on these these old ones really don't last very long. Right? Apparently, damn. Uh, Two hours about. Yeah, it it's, 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 it's really frustrating. Like, I usually get anywhere between two and three if, I, if I'm lucky a little more than three. Jeez. Yeah, it, it sucks. And I usually even turn them off. I don't even usually leave them on standby. So, damn. It's just yeah. short battery life. Well, it's because they're old. They're the original models of the 3DS, so they're uh, already old. Um, and the batteries, I don't think, lasted as long on those older models. Gotcha. Red. We take Gant's name, replace the G with a C, and replace the A with a U. That's what I think. Oh my. Uh, More like Chief Cant, am I right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the way you said it, too. Just made it. It was great. Thanks. All right, I'm plugged in. We're good. Sweet. Chief Gun. Can I ask you something? Sure. You only came here to look around, right? Because it's one of the SL9 crime scenes. I mean, that's your only reason for coming here, isn't it? That's... Why do you ask? You don't think... Nah. You wouldn't be. No. No, there's no way. Never mind, don't worry about it. Okay, now then, let's look around <laughs> okay. a bit more. Hey, hold on! Not so fast, buddy. Huh? What is it? When someone tells you don't worry about it, it's supposed to start bothering you, pal. You don't just let it go at that. Sorry, this guy's starting to get on my nerves. Damn. Okay, so what's bothering you? You two don't think Chief Gaunt might be a suspect, do ya? Me? What? Yeah, Mr. Wright, what do we think of him? Uh, he sucks. Chief Gaunt. So it's finally come to this. Yes, he's a fucking suspect. What do I think of him? Perhaps it's best I don't divulge my feelings yet. There he goes, ignoring me again. Well, alright. So, let's examine. Is there anything Kay. of note that you see that we should examine? The statue blade. Okay, we can examine that. Oh god. Get... There you go. Close enough. This is the real deal, isn't it? This armor and these weapons. Sure is, pal. The chief doesn't care for imitations. First the pipe organ, now this armor. Do you think how many- do you know how many taxpayer dollars must have gone into this room? Well, you mean we're paying for this? That's it. I'm not paying one cent of my taxes. <laughs> you don't have any taxes to pay. Shh. Be careful of what you say. Who knows, the chief may be hiding in this armor <laughs> as we speak. I don't think he'd fit in there. I was wondering that, like, is it too- <laughs> is he too tall for it? Even if he did, he'd never be able to get back out. Cut it out, you guys don't know how scary that guy can be. Oh, Alright. I can only imagine. So the there's safe? one- Yeah, that's what we need to look at. Alright. This is a safe! What? <laughs> this Exam is a safe! <laughs> uh, In case you didn't know. 
This is a safe, isn't it? Safe. That word is ripe with intrigue. <laughs> uh, okay, if you say so. It looks like a code needs to be entered in the panel to open it. Oh well. no. A seven digit number. I think I might just know what it is. Is it 777? 7777? Yep. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I have a hunch. No, oh, I know. You want to try my birth date. It's... Why yours? <laughs> what? Alright. I have a better idea. Here goes nothing. So we actually have to input it. So... Well, that's easy enough. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven. Seven, seven. Did it. Done. That's the oh worst passcode. That is the worst passcode. Your <laughs> fucking ID number. Really? Not even just Bingo. that, but the fact that it's literally a string of the same number. Yeah, right. Oh, he gets it. He clearly has a bad memory. Thank you for that clip, Ernie. And to be fair, Chief can't. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What uh, number did you enter? Bingo. Whose Oops. birthday was that, pal? <laughs> That's not <laughs> birthday. Seven 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 seven. The final ID card number. What? The number of the mysterious executive officer who entered the room that day. Oh, I love how we didn't know for sure that uh, that was even him, but we were like, yeah, that's definitely him. It's definitely him. <laughs> you mean seven 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 oh seven 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 seven? That ID number? I think you're one seven shy this time. This can only mean one thing. That Chief Gant's I that's Chief Gant's ID number. Say, anyone care to look inside? Well, no, we just opened it for fun. Right? Examine. Just it? wanted to crack the code. Alright, right, I've got my fill. We don't need to look in there. Not at all. Oh Alright, let's examine. It is. is there any money in there? Oh How much God. does he have stashed away? Look, it's a, a... Oh, it's part of the vase! Right. A shot from a broken cup? This somehow looks familiar. Where have I seen this before? Really, Phoenix? There's something else in here, too. A hamper. What's this? It looks like a piece of leather cloth. This is a handprint, isn't it? Hey, I saw someone wearing a shirt like that once. You'd think the chief made up the design? Uh, I, I don't think so. Oh. Well, it was just a thought. Is that it? This is all that was in the safe. Apparently so. It's empty now. A piece of cloth with a handprint on it. And a broken shard from a cup. Evidence. They look like pieces of evidence. But unless you can prove they have something to do with this case, I'm afraid I can't just let you take them. After all, it's my neck on the line here. Great. Now I have to prove their relevancy to get them. How are these two items related to SL9 incident? Alright. Come on. There's gotta be something we can show the detective. Alright, what are you thinking? Uh... Hold on, let me look... Well, obviously the vase has to do with that broken handle. All right, so let's do that first. So we present in the unstable jar? Yes. Okay. And thank you for that bit by the way, saw Dirtles. Good luck in detective and attorney business. Thank you. That good luck bit. All right. Detective Gumshoe, could you have another look at this jar? All of us put that back together. Oh, those were the days. Kind of early to be nostalgic. Too soon. Wasn't this jar a piece of evidence from that case? That's right. One of the shards had an SL9 incident sticker on it. Doesn't this ring any bells? You know, that fragment we just found? You mean this one? That was in the safe? <laughs> the one that we literally found two seconds ago? Literally? Oh my god. This... Yes, that one. That was in the safe. <laughs> Now 
that you mention it, it's ringing a lot of bells. Let's see if it fits. All right. Assemble. Assemble fragment. Assemble. Here, let me see that shard. I'll take a crack at this. Go ahead, pal. Show us what a rookie can do. That's right. Here's some glue. If I can keep... If I can piece this together again, it'll prove Chief Gant was knowingly hiding evidence. Here goes. All right. Oops. I accidentally hit B. I don't get it! This piece doesn't fit anywhere in the... <laughs> <laughs> Did it. Again. Oh my god. Wait, let me, I need to present it okay. again. Rude. Fuck me. This is why I can't have nice things. Aw. <laughs> she just carries glue around with her, run. Yep. Convenience. She has like a backpack of like scientific investigative things. Well, she carries around all the other stuff with her, like the luminal True. testing fluid and. The fingerprinting case. Yep. Super convenient. Your Wii mode Assemble. freaks me out. Rude. <laughs> no, because it's like invisible. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh good. Uh I'm just holding nothing. It's the invisibility cloak of Wii mode. Right. Alright. Sweet. Done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh no, it's the same piece. There, it fits like a charm. That of course means Chief Gat willingly and knowingly hid a piece of this jar in his safe. In other words, he concealed the piece of evidence from the S online incident. But, hey guys, get a load of this. What is it? This piece you just attached, it's different from the others. What? Well... Bird. It has a reddish line on it. Gee, I wonder what, what that is. A reddish line? Ketchup! That's blood! <laughs> Ketchup! I don't get it. <laughs> Why would Chief Gaunt hide this in his safe? Gee, I wonder. Why wouldn't he just destroy it? <laughs> right? Um, the unstable jar has a added updated you know what silly I'm goose all right Destroy so the only it. thing's cloth the only thing i can think of is that it was there's handprints yeah Ooh. all right so that means Marshall's we want to present print. or there's the glove no but that would be your, your your first thought so marshall's prints or the locker which one uh well the, let's use the fingerprinting set Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, so that we can actually see if there are any fingerprints on it. Fingerprinting set. Yeah. Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe, I'd like you to have a look at this. Hey, I know what that is. So you want to take some fingerprints? That's a great idea, Detective. All right, go to town, sheesh. What are you doing? Why are you sticking out your hand like that? Go ahead, take my fingerprints. Oh my god. Um, it, it's not your fingerprints we want to take. Huh? Come on. This isn't the time for jokes. We are talking about that cloth we found in the safe. Oh. <laughs> I knew that. The one with the <laughs> handprint on it, right? She, she wears your sense of humor. Oh my god. Here we go. Okay. Well, let's do it. Uh, we don't need her to tell us how to do this. We're just gonna skip past that. Oh, okay. Yellow. Even oh Phoenix god. is like, okay. Were you my I don't... mom? Oh my god. Alright, so which, which Call print? me mom! I just spit. It was fun. Call me mommy, Ryota. Oh my god. Oh wait, which print? Uh, it looks like the middle finger or the thumb are the strongest. Uh, which one do you want? Uh, I pick middle. middle. Let's do middle. <laughs> By accident, apparently. Yellow. I... <coughs> well, apparently I let my fingernail <coughs> just brush the screen. This is why. Oh, shit. The sensor turned off. Hold <sighs> on. Okay. Inconvenient. 
Yeah, it must have a, an automatic. Must automatic turn off. turn off to conserve battery. Okay. Got it. I don't remember how to blow. <laughs> okay, shake it. Shake it real good. Uh, yeah, shaking it's how you blow. So, gaunt? Yep, let's do it. Okay. Doesn't look like a match. Oh, well. You know? Who else this evidence is flipping off, right? The only other person. There are two people I have in mind, but hold up. Oh my god, you guys, stop. Uh, I skipped past a bit of this text because I thought they were yeah. just going to be like, whatever. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, I've been skipping past it. What? What is happening? The one that happened right here in this room. She's right. Uh, what? The murder in this room? We should check the fingerprints of everyone who was in here that day. Oh, okay. So... Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I was like, uh, are we missing story? No, we're fine. We just gotta pick someone else. So, who you wanna pick? I would say, uh, Lana or Emma. Which one? Let's do Emma, okay. Alright. She's like, um, rude. Oh my god, it's Emma! Uh oh. Well, rip Emma. found no how can this be what are emma's fingerprints doing here hey you found a match whose fingerprints were they huh oh uh it seems the prints are too old they aren't clear enough to get a match oh that's too bad i thought they'd be doc's prints Psst. hey yo over here Rude. What's going on here? What are the kids' prints doing inside the chief's safe? Don't ask me. Let's just keep this information from Emma for now. Here. Maybe you should hold on to this. Strip a cloth folded and add it to the court record. Alright. So. So we can't talk about anything else. So we want to examine his desk because if you remember earlier when we saw him he was looking at something right so just examine the flat part of his desk mm -hmm. okay i think it's this desk it says gaunt's desk so it's either this one or the one on the other side of the room <laughs> yeah and she said look at the yeah. size of his desk wow look at the size of chief gaunt's desk speaking of that when we were here earlier Oh, it's you two. Chief Gant. He put that paper he was reading in his desk. I wonder what he was reading. This looks like a list of evidence used in a case. A list of evidence? In most cases, the list runs twice as long as this. Combine them. Hey, look at the case name. Huh? SL9 incident. I wonder what this is doing here. Hold on, detective. What did you just say? I said, I wonder what... No, about evidence lists. Normally they're twice as long? That's right. I guess there wasn't a lot of evidence. A half size list of evidence. Yep. That list of evidence, it seems too short. Most lists run twice as long. What would the other half of this list be doing here? I knew it! The chief must be hiding something about that case! It would appear so. Evidence list added to the court record. Did she accidentally kill a man and they're all trying to protect her? I swear uh, to God. Hold on one second. Um, I don't... What, uh... Sorry, Eva's just checking if I needed some more tea, but I'm gonna go with some water, because mine's warm. 
Legit. Need that cold water. Yeah. This is almost done because it kind of be so bad. It yeah we're okay we're like there's one more section but it should be pr it should be short. Sweet. Okay. Well, was I any help? Of course. Thanks to your ID card, we were able to get some hard evidence. No, that's not very kind, is it? I'm assuming. I don't it know. is. In other words, if it wasn't for his ID card, it would have been you. Rude. Isn't that right, you in the coat? <gasps> she chief got! She can't. We didn't think you'd be she back can't. so soon. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm a man who believes in signs. As I was walking to my meeting, I happened to look out a window and saw a stray dog run into the into a pole. Just then, wow. I thought of a certain detective. Rude. Do you mean me, sir? Now then, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you. Yes, sir. Sorry. Oh, you in the coat. Me, sir? Drop off your ID on the way out. You won't be needing it anymore. Oh my god, what a bitch. But, sir. Now get out. Ooh. Yes, sir. Fuck off. We'll be on our way out, too, then. Wait, you, the one without the spiky hair. Don't go yet. Me, sir. I'd like a word with you. He's gonna murder her. Seriously, though. But, sir, I'm not a licensed scientific investigator yet. You with the spiky hair, you're free to go. I would not leave her alone. Mr. Wright. I would not leave her alone. Not good. Look, pal. Stranger if I danger! <laughs> <laughs> Look, pal, if I told you once, I told you a thousand times. The chief's office is off limits. But no, you just had to go sneaking in there like that, didn't you? I thought you said you didn't care anymore if you were fired. Yeah, but if I knew it'd be like this, I never would have said it. Now that I've seen the evidence Chief Gant was hiding in his office, I think I'm finally starting to get the picture. It's hard to believe anyone could keep quiet about all this all this time. Anyway, you listening to me? I'm gonna try to smooth things over with the chief again. Yeah, good luck with that. Later, pal. Yeah. After that, I heard from Emma. She said the police want to ask her some questions. So she'll be busy for the rest of the day. Sketch. Alright, so this is the last section. Okay. February 24th, Detention Center Visitors room. I see. So the chief asked Emma to come in for questioning. It's no use thinking about it. Tomorrow's the final day in court. I'm committed to doing everything I can to defend you, which is why I'm here. But I've already told you all I can. What you've told me over the last past... <laughs> what you've told me over these past couple days is absolutely nothing. Not a single <laughs> useful thing. You Damn, throw in that shade! I love it. Finally. Really? I believe I did mention something quite important. Something I told you right at the beginning. I said that I was the one who stabbed Detective Goodman. You know, I think I finally figured it out. Who it is that you're hiding from behind... Mm. Who it is you're hiding behind those words. Mia did a good job mentoring you. I'm rather jealous. It seems Edgeworth was right. Edgeworth? Once you're convinced you know something, no one can persuade you otherwise. Thick-headed is the term he used, I believe. He would know. Mm -hmm. Now's my chance to get her to tell me the rest of the story. Chode. What? <laughs> I said chode. Um, <laughs> Keeping quiet. Keeping quiet. I have to admit I was more than a little perplexed at first. You insisted you did it, yet there was no incriminating evidence. That's when it hit me. It's not that you'd be unwilling to tell the truth. It's that you're incapable of doing so because of a certain individual. 
What an intri- <clears throat> What an intriguing notion. A certain individual, you say? So you think I'm protecting this person? Protecting? No. I think afraid of is more like it. If I'm not mistaken, the person is quest in question may have persuaded you to silence. For argument's sake, Mr. Wright, who, may I ask, is this person you're speaking of? The one I'm supposedly so frightened of. What is this person's name? Damon Gant. Yeah. Okay. Take that! That was not obvious at all. Well, Miss Guy? Nope, I'm not looking at you. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you are addressing the Chief Prosecutor. Do not forget your place. I take it she's still not ready to spill the beans. My apologies. Could you please tell me a bit more about the circumstances? Damon, Damon Gant. Gant. We were partners until two years ago. I respected him as a detective. Assuming he is respectable, then tell me something. Why would he try to hide his crimes? His crimes? Both you and Edgeworth will be brought before a board of inquiry for what you did. Specifically hiding and forging evidence. Of course, these are serious offenses. Why is it, though, that Chief Gaunt's name was never mentioned? Chief Gaunt? Edgeworth didn't know the truth behind the forgery. The only party who could have possibly investigated... The only party who could have possible investigated... No, yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> it should be possibly. <laughs> <laughs> the evidence was... Me. I had access because I was second in command of that investigation. Yes, you, but also another, Damon Gant. Could you shut the fuck up, Lana, and just admit it? Goddamn! Right? Okay. If you intend to accuse Chief Gant, you'll need more than just words. Show me proof that Chief Gant falsified evidence in that case. Uh, are we showing the face, or are we showing the fingerprints? Uh, let's go with the vase. Okay. Unstable jar. Take that. I just found this in a safe in Chief's office. This jar piece and this strip of cloth. Do you know what these are? They're pieces of evidence from the SL9 incident. I... The person concealing evidence was none other than Chief Gant himself. Now tell me, why are you taking all the blame for him? Touché, Mr. Wright. It says you surmised. I cannot disobey the Chief's orders. Even if it means being found guilty, guilty for murder. Why not? Come now, Mr. Wright. You can't possibly expect me to be able to tell you that. Three days ago, I had no choice but to cooperate. In the murder of Detective Goodman. Or perhaps, I should say, follow orders. Yes, that's more accurate than cooperate. Orders. Orders. Although I can't tell you the details, I can say that I was given an order that day. I need you to dispose of Bruce Goodman's body. You'll find it inside the trunk of Miles Edwards' car. Obviously, it's Gant. <laughs> yeah. Just as I suspected. Despite what everyone believes, you were not the one who murdered. You were not the one who murdered Detective Goodman. Correct. I was trying to take the body out of Edgeworth's car. The trunk was broken. I discovered that murder weapon while inspecting the body. The murder weapon? You mean Edgeworth's knife? No. When I found the body, this was the knife stuck in it. The knife from the SL9 incident. Serial killer Joe Drake's knife. Dark. Not Drake. God damn it. I couldn't just leave that knife in him, so I took it out and stabbed him with another knife. That would be Edgeworth's knife? That's right. Even though he was already dead, my hands were shaken at the thought of stabbing him. That's why I ended up cutting my hand. 
And that is the reason for the bandage on your right hand? Yes. It seems that I got blood on the victim's shoes as well. And then... She saw me just as I plunged the knife in. Miss Star. So she wasn't lying? Uh-uh. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's very complicated. I just... No, it's more like... I, you know, I don't want to trust Star, but she's actually telling yeah. the goddamn truth. Especially since she can't tell a testimony worth her life. It's why true. did you need? <laughs> why did you need to hide, dark? Why did you need to hide Dark's knife so badly? Dark's knife. Dark's knife. It took a lot of work to finally close the dark case two years ago. It was over with. I didn't ever want it to be opened again. My intent was to prevent that by whatever means possible. So you hid Dark's knife. The weapon used to stab the detective was evidence in the Joe Dark case. If word got out, which it would, the reporters would have a field day with that. So you wrapped the knife in your scarf and hid it. In Edgeworth's exhaust pipe. Right. Then I called my sister. To tell her what happened, and to ask her to hide the knife that was inside my muffler. You asked Emma? I didn't want anyone on the force to know about this. That would explain why Emma is so confident. About Lana's innocence. Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. A bad feeling? The truth is, after I received those orders from Chief Gaunt, the first thing I did was make a phone call. A phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall. To Jake, to Marshall? Why on earth wouldn't you call him? The lead investigator for the SL9 incident had been murdered. I wanted that fact to be kept hidden, and I needed help. He was the only other person I could trust. Or at least, I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seems that after I spoke to him, he went off on an escapade of his own. Oh, you mean... Not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands disguised himself as Detective Goodman and tried to steal the evidence. He had already stolen the ID card, but it seems he still hadn't made up his mind to break into the evidence room. After my phone call, any remaining doubts he had must have disappeared. So your phone call caused the incident in the ev evidence room? I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. Bolana. You've earned my respect, Mr. Wright, both as a defense attorney and an investigator. Now please, don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. Tomorrow's trial. There's only one way to drive off Lana's demons. I've got to get to the bottom of everything, and you're going to end up putting Emma in jail, and that's the problem. Yep. Detective Goodman's real murderer. And what went down in the chief's office two years ago. To be continued. To be continued. Did it. Done. Investigation. The last investigation of this game, Cat. Hey. Did it. Did it. Say Did that. it up until this point. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But I gotta pee. <laughs> All right, you go, and then we'll tag. Yes. And I'm gonna grab a snack bowl too. Yeah, so. that sounds good. B R B. Okay, go for it. So hey guys, how's your uh, Saturday going? Uh, if we clicked no to save there, I would cry. <laughs> That's the worst. Does anyone have any weekend plans that they're excited for? I was on a hunt for Wii component cables, and I came up empty. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, I usually go out on Fridays because I stream all weekend, basically. So Saturday and Sunday I stream. So uh, Friday is kind of the day where we go out and shop and stuff. And uh, could not find Wii Component Cables. I think I'm going to have to order them online, unfortunately. Ugh. 
Your weekend plans are to study? <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes you have to, even though that sucks. Sorry to hear that. No plans aside from chilling. Hope you find what you're looking for soon. Oh, thanks, Rain. It's probably, like I said, I'll probably just have to look online. It's just, it's hard to find first party cables. Um, like Nintendo brand, because third party cables can be really hit or miss. Um, they're not usually made as well as, as first party. And, uh, I don't want to chance them being, you know, badly made. But, uh, yeah, Kat and I had fun recording PS1 yesterday. And it came out pretty well. So I was really happy with that. So we're going to try more stuff. So even though I didn't find the, the cables I was looking for, I did pick up like five PS1 games. And uh, I want I wanted to see if Kat and I can record them because that would be hilarious. They're, they're, uh, some of them are nostalgic and other ones are just uh, weird. But uh, I think that could be fun. You'd rather just sleep all weekend? Oh, Red. I could sleep. I was up really late last night. To like four or something. I was editing and. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll continue near Automata. <laughs> Me too. Your engagement party tonight. That's sweet. That sounds like fun. Yeah. We've got Nier tomorrow, hopefully finishing the first playthrough of Nier, so I'm excited for that. Two days off, though, coming up tomorrow and Monday. That's awesome, Lucarian. I've heard Yakuza is good. Yakuza, Yakuza. I'm not sure how to say it, but... Sleep sounds better than school. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I at least found something. Uh, I get... I get bad with that, like being in an old game store surrounded by old weird games I'm like I must buy all of these and I have to restrain there was I almost bought <laughs> I almost bought a fucking Austin Powers pinball game not even kidding it was three dollars and it was for PS1 Austin Powers pinball I was very tempted because that's so ridiculous uh you're in the third part of Nier. I I have no idea what happens after the first part. No spoilers, but apparently after your first playthrough, it continues on. So we'll see. Austin Powers Pinball, why did you not? Red says I would have bought it. I literally bought five or six other games. So I was like, uh. Plus, I didn't know how f how funny a video would be on Pinball. Because it's not, it doesn't have a lot of gameplay going for it. So I passed on that. I don't know. Maybe someday. <laughs> maybe someday I'll pick it up again. There was that. I also was looking at a Land Before Time game, which was, I think, a platformer. But it was $8. And I was like, this is kind of a lot for a PS1 game. And there was an Elmo game. The PS1, man. Has some ridiculous games. Missed opportunity. <laughs> You're still playing Mario Odyssey? Yeah, that would take forever. Getting all the moons. I can see that. Oh, good luck doing stuff, Red. Won't spoil it, enjoying it a lot. I really like it. I wasn't sure at first. It took me a while to get into Nier, but once I did, I just loved it. And the music is just, oh, it's amazing. It's so good. <clears throat> so glad I bought the soundtrack. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. So I'm excited to see where the story goes. Because uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Cat's game has logged out. <laughs> Have you ever played Metroid Prime Pinball for DS? It even came with a rumble pack back in the day. I haven't. The main pinball game I played was Pokemon Pinball for the Game Boy Color. 
I liked that one a lot. And apparently there's a Ruby Sapphire version, I think, which I would like to play because that looks fun too, but I don't think we have that one. You just watched someone finish near. Sweet. You should really check out a playthrough for near sometime. It looks really interesting. It is. It's it's uh it's really great. And really relaxing, I think, despite it's kind of weird because it's very chill, but at the same time, a lot of times you're doing these intense battles. But overall, yeah. it's very chill. Hello. Pokémon. Uh well, we were talking oh, about near. We were talking about near. Uh, we were talking about how I almost got an Austin Powers pinball game for the PS1 for us to oh enjoy. My God. Yes. <laughs> almost. It was $3, almost. but I ended up getting five or six other games, and I'm not telling you what they are, because if you it's want to record... Surprise. Yeah, if you want to record sometime, I thought it would be funny to do a little surprise. Oh, no, I'm scared. And excited. As you should be. <laughs> uh, also, I put way too much honey in my tea. <laughs> That's how it's good. Uh, I would normally agree, but I put a lot. <laughs> so I'll just have a honey drink, basically. Honey drink, it's fine. All right, my turn. Tag. How is everyone? Hey. Free space pinball game. Eh. Old Dell PCs. I don't even remember. I think we've always had, like, HP, but I could be wrong. Guys, I got apples slices. And, um pretzel bits, and uh, cheddar cheese. <laughs> I'm healthy. Kind of. My game logged out. It went to sleep, yeah. Oh. Scare-sided? Yeah, exactly that. Also, is there anyone that came in that I missed? I'll say hi now. By the way, I never played pinball games other than in uh, Sexy Brutal. Sonic Spinball? Excuse me. The only time I ever played pinball was at a dentist. <laughs> I don't know why I never had any. Texas wildflower honey. It has a nice mild sweetness to it. Ooh, Jeff, that sounds delicious. I just got uh, honey from the store, like Walmart. <laughs> Honey's surprisingly expensive. So I try to get the cheapest, unfortunately. You missed me, but I missed you more. Hey, hi, baby. Ugh. Oh, my word. Sonic Spinball was from Sega Genesis days. I didn't have... Did I have a Sega Genesis? I just... Sega Gen... The black thing. Yeah, I think it was a Sega Genesis. Am I confused? I had Toe Jam and Earl on it. <laughs> have I ever played an arcade pinball? That's where I played at Dennis. But that's it. Whenever I went to the arcade, I played fucking DDR. No other. Guys, if I could figure out DDR, that'd be the best thing to stream. <laughs> but my DDR mat's special, so. Uh, it has a delay I can't handle. Uh, store bought is fine if you can't get your own honey. Uh, if you're not, you're missing out. I played DDR. I had a fine childhood just playing DDR. <laughs> Fucking loved it. Hi, Pebble C. Hello, hello. I'm not good at pinball, so I didn't bother. Yeah, I wasn't good at it either. Stressful. Understanding for honey getting more expensive since beehives keep dying quicker. I know. Be sad. Poor bees. Honey is gross to me, which sucks since they're good for so different things. Yeah, they're good for a lot of different things. But I can see why that would, like, suck. Oh, my God. DDR stream, guys. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, Dance Dance Revolution. I play on heavy. I love it. We're stealing the honey from the bees. We are stealing the honey from the bees. It's true. <laughs> but yeah, Dance Dance Revolution, I had uh, Konamix. Did I? Are talking about yeah. old games? I was just talking about DDR. They were oh. talking about uh, pinball machine games. Um, and I had never played them even at arcades. What I did at arcades was DDR. <laughs> Nonstop DDR. <laughs> Tried to play DDR at PAX South, but it was broken! How dare. How dare. How dare. I was super disappointed. I feel bad for bees, but I don't want them near me. I understand that. It's like a seed. Bit. 
Did you get a snack? Uh, I did not. Well. So, <laughs> how very dare. Well. Cat showing off her dancing skills, yeah. The problem is I have no idea how the fuck I'd stream that, and it is so delayed it's not even funny. So. Because I feel like you guys need to see where my feet are. So I guess you'd see full body, like, just dance style, but... Mm-hmm. Also, all the co copyright. <laughs> oh, God. Keeps falling asleep. Got it. Boycotting all packs until Cat gets her DDR. Well, how would we know that they have DDR unless we go? Do you like DDR, Kita? Yes. I knew this. I just wanted to ask. All right. <laughs> I just wanted everyone else to know. I also <laughs> wanted to make sure I wasn't wrong. I used to. Uh, no, I used to play DDR a lot. We just. Oh, God, wait. No. I was like, we could just show Kita's. Can't you not cam? Well, I guess you have to be you wearing can... shoes. As long as it's not your bare feet, you can show your feet. I'm pretty sure the rule is you have to have socks on. That's legit. Oh my god. Just keep his feet on my full body. That'd be great. <laughs> feet cam. Oh my god. I mean, we'd get donations. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ow. Oh, laughing that hard hurt my jaw for a second. Damn. Oh. Uh, bees are precious and cute, but I can see why people get nervous. I tried DDR on Xbox 360. It wasn't my thing. I tried it on PS1 before I ever tried it on anything. <laughs> I have the original DDR. I still do. Wow. It's so bad because you can't make it 1.5, and I need that 1.5 speed. Yeah, I usually that do it two times. Insane. I usually do it 2x, so yeah, I'm the same yeah. way. So it's like, huh? But um, yeah, so DDR1 didn't have that, but I love some of the stuff on there. And then I had DDR... I liked Kona Mix. I didn't have it. My friend had it. But I had Extreme and Extreme 2. Um, and I had one other one, but I forgot what it was called. Max? Maybe Max 2. Maybe <laughs> Max 2. Bless you. Thanks. I kept acting weird, so I lost interest. Oh, your back arrow? Yeah. So, like, that's, like, the problem with mats is... Some of them start to get weird. Like, I had a styrofoam one, and all of my buttons started acting weird. Like, it would think I was pressing it when I wasn't or wouldn't activate because I duct taped them because they started cracking. Oh, yeah. So, because I used it too much. And then I got a metal one, and that one's delayed. I don't know how, but it's delayed. So. Also, did I ever tell you, Kita, how I figured out how to make that mat work? Because you were, like, telling me how to get, like, the switches and stuff that I could do to press X and stuff. Yeah. Did I ever tell you what, how I figured out the mat? Uh-uh. So remember how where X and zero or circle would be is like in the corners, but my yeah. mat has black things there? Yeah. Apparently you just have to press really hard on the black things because the guy who owned it before me had a mod on it, a mod kit that basically oh. put those things there to make it feel more realistic to the arcade. Gotcha. But they're buttons still. I was like, God damn it. But it sucks because they're not easy to press because they have this huge plastic thing on them mm -hmm. that's more raised. And actually, I don't prefer it because then my feet don't slide across it because it's slightly more raised than the up-down center parts. Right. So. Poor Kita sneezing. Yeah, everyone's like, bless you, Kita. <laughs> yeah, thanks. My allergies are bugging me today. I think that's part of the reason why my uh... voice is being a bitch. Yeah. It doesn't show. That's good. It feel see to me it feels like it's really obvious. So it's annoying. So you're noticing it. <laughs> I'm struggling. Yeah. That's legit. I'm gonna try to at least finish these apples quick because Wow. Really random loud. random retro games has pulled into second place. Whoa! Yeah. Dang. Check that. It was Slime <laughs> Rancher for the longest time. <laughs> it was Slime Rancher for a long time. 
I, I'm, I'm DDR excited. Revolution. I just want to do retro stuff. <laughs> I'm like, I just want to play retro games. I want to do all the things. I know, yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> but if you're down, I have surprise games hey. <laughs> that we could play. I'm down and scared. It's As fine. you should be. As, As I feel like you I should, should be. be. <laughs> oh, God, that was scary. Also, this next thing is three parts, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, thanks, Drander. See, I'm just, like, really self-conscious about it whenever my voice is phlegmy and I'm like, oh, it sounds bad. I can totally get that. <laughs> oh, Stop falling asleep. Uh, but, yeah, there's Trial Former, Trial Ladder, Trial Ladder 2. <laughs> so... I have a feeling I know who each one's going to be. I'm going to take a guess, but nobody confirm. Yeah, nobody confirm. I'm going to guess that's going to be... I don't know which order it's going to be in. Uh, exactly. Right. But Gant, Lana, and then Emma's the last one. Perhaps. That's just my suspicions. But... I'm going to be sad if this doesn't have a happy ending. <laughs> oh, we really should uh, so close to the end. When did we start this? January? I think it was January 1st when we started <laughs> this game, and it is now almost May. <laughs> it's been uh, so long. Uh, well, we also took so many breaks, and well, then I were... had so many hospital things during uh, well, Friday. Well, that's, that's true. And then also Splatfest. Yep. Ooh, okay. So trial... Trial ladder, the first one's pretty short, which is good. I'm just trying to see how long they are. Legit. And then the second part, oh, oh, God, oh, God. All right, well. Long? Trial ladder two is fairly long. So it kind of goes like, one. former is like medium length, and then the first ladder is short, and then the second one's long, so. Gotcha. Right. So we still got a bit. For those it's of you gonna are... be me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The best meme. The meme that keeps on giving every May. <laughs> it never dies. I appreciate it. It's pure. You voted for Retro just to see what it ends up being. Curiosity outweighed all other concerns. Well, I, I have a lot of random games, so. A lot. That I've never gotten to showcase or play, so. It could it's be anything. True. It could even be oh, a boat. Dogs are back. Did you say it could even be a boat? Yes, I did say that. <laughs> I want a boat. It was a. I agree. It's a great meme. It's a Family Guy. Oh. Bit. Damn it. They like. They, I think they listened to a, a timeshare thing or something, and then he, they're like, okay, well, you can either get a boat or you can get this mystery box, and he's like, the. The mystery boat's box. a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. <laughs> oh, my God, like, I remember that. <laughs> and she's Fucking like, Peter. well, then why don't we just pick the boat? Oh, my God. And he doesn't. He picks the box, doesn't he? Yeah. Spoilers. Of course he does. Family Guy spoilers. Yeah, for, for like, Family Guy season two. <laughs> that was, like, how many years ago? Probably ten by um, this point, at least. Oh, my God fucking family guy my dad loved family guy he had so many stewie yeah my my dad introduced me to family guy so same same <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate that it went downhill a bit yeah as uh, i mean that usually happens though that always happens with shows and also i at least enjoyed futurama as a, you know yeah similar but more story based i would think Season two is 18 years ago. Dear God. Oh my God. Does that make me feel old? Holy crap. Wow. Season two of Family Guy is older than some of you. I was nine? How? Wait. I did math. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Oh my God. That's freaking me out. Oh my God. God damn it. Yeah, I agree, Lucarian. Some real hard. I haven't even seen yeah. anything past like. Season yeah. There's I don't know what rabbit. Hole there's a lot of questionable in. things in it now, at least from what I've seen of 
you know, clips and things. Clips I haven't and stuff, yeah. I haven't been wa- watching it, but from just from what I've seen. Yeah. Also, I've most of the criticisms I've heard is the repetition. Mm. It's not a, they don't do original things anymore. Like they just keep copying them. Yeah, no, Lucarian's right. Like making fun of abuse victim stuff. Like it's oh. to make a joke, but it's not funny and it's not a good message. So a, it's been criticized. Yeah, it could, it's been criticized a lot for that. Why am I not surprised? Yeah. Also, a lot of stuff. Late? A lot of stuff that like you could kind of make those jokes about. It was more okay back then. But now, because, you know, there's so much... Everyone's aware now. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's that, woke. That it, it's true. <laughs> been awoke. It's that, true, though. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really work, you know? Yeah. Yep. Totally makes sense. Seth doesn't want to do it anymore, it but the network's forced him. That sucks. So he's probably like, fuck. Yeah. Locked into that contract, though. Uh, I like. Yeah, so did I, Siri, Jeff. But I stopped yeah, watching I w- a long time ago. I never watched unless it was with my dad. I think because my dad was always downstairs in the living room watching it. But one of the last episodes that I really remember watching was Road to the Multiverse, and I think a little bit after that is when I stopped watching. I don't even know the names. I did not watch them when I was old enough to comprehend a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. I also, mostly watched them when they first came out. Red saw an amazing bird. Yep, I saw that. <laughs> In the median. Don't hit it. Make sure it's safe. Keep it secret. Mm. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. But at least The Simpsons was still pure, wasn't it? Like, Simpsons was still Simpsons. Um, they've been, I could be they've wrong. been criticized for a few things that they've done, too. Oh, I don't follow like, along. <laughs> I never watched Not as badly, though, know. as Family Guy. But, um, right. You know, that's legit. Some things don't age well. It's not even just aging well, it's like things get stale, you know? Right. You've done the same, like, it just kind of, you got to innovate. And it's hard to do that when you're in that kind of, you know, when you're making a show like that. Right. That's why I like Futurama because it ended. And yeah, it had an actual ending. Yeah, Thema Worm, I saw that. I, I <sighs> saw that whole thing. They recently downplayed it? But yeah. It is! It is, and they were just kind of like, well, oh well. Like, they put it in their episode, apparently. Oh my god. That shade, though. Yeah, because people were criticizing them about it, and... They were just like, well, we can't really do anything about it. Like, that's essentially what they were saying. And then people were like, um, actually, you you could. (laughs) So. But you just choose not to. Oh, my God. Your father sat you down in front of South Park when you were a small bean. My parents knew what South Park was, and they did not let me see anything from it for a long time. And not until I was 16 when I was at a friend's house and finally was like, fuck it, I'm watching this. <laughs> and what I watched was the movie, which is fucking terrible. Yeah. But for some reason, I, I love the movie. I remember seeing the movie in middle school because my I friend, love the, my friend was a friend. South Park fan, and I had never watched it because I just, I just yeah. didn't come across it. <laughs> Yellow into the movie. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I did. I love, I love the movie. <laughs> I love, I know all the songs by heart. It's a problem. But otherwise, like the show, I'm like, eh, it's all right. I know they like also have their own things going on, but they also are very adamant about the way they do stuff. Like they're like, nope, this is how we're doing it. Like they don't have any regrets, mm. which is why River, River really doesn't like South Park. Um, <laughs> I just really like the movie and the music, even though it's terrible. But. I was not allowed to watch it for a very long time. My dad had the movie and the soundtrack, and then he's like, nope, you're not watching this. <laughs> South Park movie is my guilty pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Super inappropriate, though. Hui, hui, hui. Cartman's super inappropriate. How about say? My friend had the uh, South Park racing game for N64. <laughs> there so was 
was never... what? You didn't see. This is why we need to do this series because I can introduce <laughs> you retro- to so many things. What is this bullshit? <laughs> there's a South Park racing game. I think it's called South Park Rally, and it's for the N64. And there's there's one mode where you can have mad cow disease and try to give it to other people. Like you race around and try to tag the other people to give them mad cow disease. But I remember playing it at our house. Keto, why aren't we playing this? <laughs> See, okay, like this is why. Also, there's a game called Chef Lu- Chef Chef's Love Shack or something. Or chef. I think it, I, that might be PS1, but it might also be N64. I'm not 100% sure, but I have no idea what that is. But there's that, too. Like, I could introduce you to a world that you've never known. <laughs> I've never known. Uh, yeah, okay, so Austin Powers, my aunt saw in theaters and then told my mom, yeah, it's totally fine to bring your daughter to go see Austin Powers. <laughs> My mom was, we were in the theater. She took me to the movie and she was furious. I'm pretty sure she pulled me out of it halfway. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know. I didn't remember. But like, my mom was so pissed at her sister because like her, she obviously has a different thing that like different level of what she'd show her children than what my mom would show her children. So mm-hmm. my mom was not a happy camper. And needless to say, we watching Austin Powers years later. I was like, <laughs> this is why (laughs) oh my god i can show you the world exactly see we could play aladdin shining shimmering because the soundtrack is super good on the super nintendo and the genesis it has a really awesome soundtrack and i've never played it i didn't have that one but i would like to play it i have it now yeah we could play that once i get my my cables oh my god hopefully they're gonna ship soon yeah because then we can do genesis and super nintendo yeah. stuff which will be fun eh. all the old school you like the I sega genesis I... version of aladdin a lot better yeah they are a little bit different and i mean sega a lot of times in my opinion when there was two games that were the same a lot of times for me the sega sounded better audio wise like the soundtrack that's interesting but, yeah, it's a debate whether the Genesis or Super Nintendo version is better. A lot of people argue. <laughs> Retro games world. They do. They I debate it. it. I know nothing. The SNES version looked better, but it didn't feel as good. Yeah, I haven't played either of them, but I really want to because it looks super fun. So yeah. it's, uh, it's a platformer, but it has, like, kind of not quite chiptune versions of the song, but kind of like that. So yeah. it's fun. Uh, that's legit though oh my god I did not realize there was so much possible chaos in the retro world I'll take it hi hex girl jinx oh yeah there's like huge you know uh, Genesis versus Super Nintendo I was too young to even be remotely involved in that but there were commercials that would be like Genesis does what Nintendo don't <laughs> That shade, though. Yeah, seriously. The companies that promoted shade. it, and then, you know, well, the people went mm-hmm. one way or the other. And I always had consoles from, it didn't matter to me. I just liked playing games. So I just liked it. <laughs> yeah, I had the Genesis, and then I had the N64, and I loved them both. I, I believe we had the both. Genesis, but I only played Toe Jam and Earl until I died. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. I stopped. And then I we had the Super Nintendo, but I just remembered watching my dad play it. I did not play it. Oh, okay. And then we had the N64, PlayStation 1, all that, until going up from there. Uh, my friend had, my friends, I think it was like her aunt or something, had the Super Nintendo, so that's where I played that. But I mostly Maybe. played Genesis, so Sega, Streets of Rage. I mostly played N64. So good. <laughs> And I weird... mostly played on 64, but I replayed the same games. I didn't have a lot. Hmm. Yeah. She had a weird I... what? Uh, I had this weird uh, Wily e. Coyote game for the Sega Genesis, <laughs> and it was very confusing. Yes. And I had no idea what I was doing. That's amazing. <laughs> that sounds beautiful. It was. <laughs> All right. I'm ready when you are. By the way. All right. 
I am ready. Hey. So February 25th? Yep. 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number two. Let's do this. This is the Defendant Lobby, all right. But there's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? She was in jail. Where else would she be? <laughs> yeah, where she could she have gone? <laughs> she couldn't have left. Right? Where's Emma, for that matter? It's almost... It almost seems as if... Something's been happening behind the scenes? I think this might be Edgeworth. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you wanna... You wanna repeat okay. that or... <laughs> Something's been happening behind the scenes. Edgeworth! Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 777777 ID number is? Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. <laughs> More like Looks we know like exactly it. who it was? Exactly. There's no hunch here. <sighs> uh, Phoenix. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt on this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True. Not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can, re I can call for a ruling on the defendant. Five minutes after the trial starts, Lana will be found guilty. But she didn't do it. I figured you'd say as much. That's why I came here, to hear what you have to say. This is the first time he's ever done something like this. Lana's hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth. Everything goes back to the S Online incident. Don't be stupid. Today's the last day of the trial. We don't have time to reminisce about the past. That depends on you. Mm. If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. See you in court, right? Lovers. This is it. If I'm ever going to find out what Chief Gaunt has on her, it's now. YOLO! Yo! February 25th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number nine. Court is now in session for the trial of... God. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts its opening statement. But before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Of course he does. Chief Gant. Oh, he just, he knows how to teleport. It's fine. Yeah, he does. It's fine. Morning, folks. How's everyone doing? Hey, OG. Have you er, been back to the pool yet? No, I've been drowning enough in, as in... I've been drowning enough as it is in my work. Oh, that's a good one. Don't think I can top that. If you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? Really? Lana, that is to say the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. She wants to do what? Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her- In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. <sighs> uh, this is bad. What's this all about, defendant? I'd just like to make one simple request and I'll be finished. Well then, what's your request? Your Honor, I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. Huh? I confess to all charges against me. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman. In the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. No, Lana! 
Oh. Objection. Right, spoke to me. You can't. Those objections in chat, guys. Your Honor, the defendant's claim does not charge, does not, the defendant's claim does not change the defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your services. Rude. Bolana. Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. The prosecution may lack direct evidence against me. But it has sufficiently proven its case through testimony and circumstantial evidence. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Hmm? Well, the defendant certainly has a right to self mutation The request is legally valid, although this is an unprecedented situation. Indeed, it appears there's no further need to continue this trial. Even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can't be happening. It appears the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. Edgeworth, help. Objection! Thank you! One moment, Your Honor. M Mr. Edgeworth! The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Any ruling at this stage would certainly be premature. Come now, worthy. I understand this is a difficult time for you. But why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut? Hmm. hmm. I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gaunt. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Creating another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. Yeah. With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal? Hmm. Not everyone operates as you do, Worthy. Hmm. I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to charge its first witness. Change. Change. <laughs> change. I was like, like charge. The, pro charge? <laughs> the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Oh, to who? As its first witness, the prosecution would like to call Miss Emma Skye. So it's in the reverse. Of what I, thought. I request the court hears her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, I'm exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Sky. Damn! Burn! The exposure what? of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Shut down. Fucking shut down. Very well. The court shall grant the prosecution's request. That's okay. That's okay with you, right, Chief Gant? Worthy. You'll live to regret this. Mark my words. Miss Emma Skye, please take the stand. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. What a cowboy. <laughs> Where's Marshall when you need him? <laughs> Probably drowning his sorrows in whiskey. <laughs> Awkward. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my, my name is Emma. Emma Sky. My occupation? I'm Lana's little sister, and I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark, the Joe Dark killings. Is this correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember this trial concerns the murder of Detective Goodman. It is an incident that was resolved two years ago. Really all that relevant? Yes, it most certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, okay then! <laughs> he sure gave in fast. He is the judge. Now, please testify about what happened to you two. What happened to you two years ago? 
the trip to yesterday has yesteryear. The trip to yesteryear has finally begun. It's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. They're trying to make it seem so epic, but we already know. We know most of it. I'm sure there's something they're hiding, but. Mm hmm. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me. But I'll never forget what I saw that instant. The man raised up his knife and, and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. Oh! Oh! The final blow in his back. She got him in the back. Anyway, hmm. sorry. I just made that connection. So it's not like, yeah, she, but she, he stabbed Marshall. Anyway, okay, sorry. <laughs> Emotional. <laughs> I'm you a went through thoughts. a lot of stages there in, a, <laughs> in about two seconds. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> okay. You good? Oh, judge. Yeah. <laughs> Are we at the judge? Yeah. Okay. It's a good thing you weren't harmed. I passed out. I don't remember much. That's understandable. However, please tell me, Mr. Edgeworth, what does this testimony have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. You've got to admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. YOLO. Alright, so what do you think would be good to press? Everything. No. Um, no, we don't have time for that. No. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, I would say... Oh, fuck. I went all the way through. I thought she had a final thing of... I don't remember after that, but I guess she doesn't. Um, I would probably press then the... I won't forget what I saw? Okay, good. Let's okay. do it. Hold on, I gotta get there. Because I went around the circle. I'll never forget what I saw that instant. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, press. Oops, not press. Go back. Press. Okay. Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on dark. Just then, the lights went out. The lights? It was just about this time of year. There was a terrible storm going on and lightning struck nearby. So the electricity went out. Wait a minute. If it was pitch dark in that room, you shouldn't have been able to see anything, right? Right, but just then lightning flashed again outside. That sudden flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. I see. I told the detective about what I saw then. The detective? Yes, Detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. Detective Bruce Goodman, the victim. Hear, Hear more? more? Duh. <laughs> I don't know why we'd stop her. Yeah. So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago? Yes. That's what's so scary about this trial. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw? Yes, but at the time, the woods just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. A picture? Yes, I think she mentioned that before. Well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? Ask about the picture. Yep. This picture of the witness drew. <clears throat> I believe it has a very important meaning. But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Witness, would you mind if we added this to... S would you mind if we added this statement to your testimony? Yes, Your Honor. I drew a picture of that scene once, but it seems to have been lost. Or <laughs> is it? Everything. You could say everything went dark. Hey, period. Ah. Finger. <laughs> finger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. Thanks. Alright. Practicing my laugh. It <laughs> but it seems to have been lost? Yeah, no, it's not. So, press? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, we have it. It's just not oh. apparent that we have it. 
do we present what we think we have? Um, no, that? if you you oh. can check evidence and look at it more closely. So is there so, anything? Oh. Is there Examine anything you'd want to look at? Um. Evidence list? Yep. Let's look at it. Check. Check. Ooh. Examine? Yep, on the back. Yep. Picture is drawn on the back of the evidence list in magic marker. Magic marker. Aw. Oh. Oh, I've got a very bad feeling about this. That looks right. like the award in his left so, hand. Otherwise, his hand is gigantic. I mean, maybe it is. <laughs> maybe he has giant hands. Because the guy on the ground kind of has giant hands, too. Right. You know what they say about a man with big hands? Big socks. Big... Did you say big socks? <laughs> For your hands. Did you say big socks? I didn't fuck up the joke, leave me alone. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say big fingerprints, but uh, sometimes uh, sock maybe I he's just a sock puppeteer, it's fine. Big hand socks, they just, <laughs> they <literally> just, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's supposed to be, you know what they say about people with big feet, it's like big socks, and then I realized I fucked up because you said hands. <laughs> and so I should have said gloves at the time. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my mind was faster. My my mouth was faster than my mind. That's why. Uh. <laughs> well. Anyway. <laughs> it's fun. So do I examine this? Uh, we already examined it. <laughs> well, oh my god. So we just show this to her? Yeah, we can just present it and be like, actually, I have your picture right here in my pants. I have it right here, bitch. Hi, hey, Dilly. Hi, hey, Isaac. Whichever one it is. Hello. Can we give a shout out for them? The Robot College, the Lost Precious Cinema Rolls, and Fantastical. And in about a week exactly, we are doing D&D. &D. So, physical VR. What time uh, is that going to be? Yeah. It's going to be at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so. Okay, I was just wondering because of streams. Of what? Streaming. Streams. Yeah. I was like storms. What storms? What? <laughs> yeah, no, should we? Because then I, I at least have time to also get dinner too. Right. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you ready to present? On uh, the last one. Well, when she says she drew a picture, yeah. Because we have so the, the picture. List, right. Yeah. Okay, present it. Objection! Gotta eat you. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Edgeworth. This little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. And yet you still insist on denying its existence? Huh? <laughs> Don't accuse Hey, I'm not like the that. bad guy. All I'm saying is that as the prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. That may well be. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold! This is the evidence list for the SL9 incident. Please turn it over, Your Honor. Turn it over? Turn it... Oh! What's this? Oh, <laughs> uh, so good. Hmm. Yes, what is that? Hey, that's it. That's the picture I drew. Hey. Indeed, two men appear to be wrestling here. Don't assume the gender. What's the meaning of this? What are you doing with that list? Me? Only the prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. Huh? These lists. They're... They're different from each other. <laughs> Very astute, Judge. Very what? Astute. It would appear, Mr. Edgeworth, 
that the evidence lists you were handed two years ago. <laughs> These two lists fit together to form one. You can when see the marks. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened two years ago. Only half the evidence in that case ever reached. What? What? <laughs> order, order. Who would have thought the picture would have been drawn on the back of the list? That, that oh, was... That... You. <laughs> that was handed to Detective Goodman in the questioning room. <clears throat> Wait a minute. If this list was torn in half, then that means... Your Honor! Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Your eyes are bulging from your head. Not quite as much as Edgeworth's do, but okay. Mm -hmm. If the evidence list was torn in half, then there might be more to the back... Then there might be more to the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list! Why has he ever look? What do you mean? Edgeworth, why didn't he ever look at the back and be like, oh, this seems up. <laughs> yes, that's quite conceivable, Mr. Edgeworth. It's possible. Let's see. Mm. Mm. <laughs> There's something wrong. Do you even have to ask? There's an earthquake happening. <gasps> oh no, he'd be scared. Sorry, Your Honor. There is something drawn on the back of my list. This is that thing. That thing. Oh! That's <laughs> terrifying! <laughs> You can't even hear the music. <laughs> that is not what I was expecting! <laughs> Why? I really wish you could hear this ice cream truck music oh that's happening God. right now. Dots. That's that... That thing! That thing that was dancing in the evidence room! Apparently, the head of criminal affairs used this for his blueprint. I guess he was out of scrap paper. No, this list has been updated. Oh, okay. Great. Great. That's not what I was expecting. Very well, witness. Will you please testify about this picture you drew two years ago? Huh? Oh, yes, sir, Your Honor. What's wrong with Emma? She seemed to be thinking about something when she saw that picture. When she saw that terrifying picture. <laughs> She's thinking about her nightmares. <laughs> I mean, I could never escape it. This is the picture I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see was shadows. After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant. To think a flash of lightning could burn such an image in your mind. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Well, I don't see any contradiction. This clearly shows Joe Dark about to murder Prosecutor Neil Marshall. The defense may now begin its cross exam. Alright. <laughs> Emma's picture. Alright. After that, I must have fainted. Well, we know that's wrong. Um, or maybe it's not. Okay, so we actually need to present. On oh, which one? Uh, the last statement where she says, "This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant." We, you already pointed it out because you said that there was a difference in where the person was stabbed. Remember? Yeah, because the guy was stabbed in the back. And right. There's no way Neil could have stabbed him in the back. Right. And it looks... I mean, it looks in the picture like he's going to be stabbed in the back. Um, but if you look at the autopsy... 
Ugh. It it shows that he had a single stab wound to the heart mm. slash lung. Shot through the heart. Okay. Well, stabbed through the heart, but yes. For so stabbed in the back, died from puncture heart, heart and lung. Nice oh, so maybe he was stabbed through the back then, and it just punctured oh. his uh, heart and lung. And then it says a knife tip was in the wound. Yeah. So. Hey, Rainbow Ski. So do we? Yeah, but we wanna... he couldn't have stabbed the guy in the back. Neil couldn't have stabbed him back. Oh, no, no, no. Because that would have been impossible. Right, no. We want to present um, Neil's autopsy report. On the statement. Yeah. Let's do it. Objection! Objection! Hey. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this picture, the witness drew, contains a blatant contradiction! What? <laughs> but I still remember it just like it was yesterday. Do you, though? Mr. Wright, perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction first. What part of this picture contradicts the autopsy report? Uh... Pointing at his chest? Uh, no. <laughs> or the knife? Knife. The knife because in if his he... left hand in the air? Yeah, because if he didn't stab him yet, at least at this point, then the, the tip should still, like, it it should be broken, right? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. So she's remembering it as broken. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Present. Present it. The contradiction, of course, lies here. Take a look at the knife in the, the, the take, take a look at the knife the man is holding. If you look closely, you can see that its tip is broken. In fact, you don't even have to look closely to see. I come blind. Mis but Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. See the motor weapon? Its tip is broken too. If I recall, the tip of the knife was found broken off in the victim's body. It was the conclusive piece of evidence that proved Joe Doc was the murderer. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. Objection! Rude. Hmm. Where could you possibly see a problem? It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. If the victim was only stabbed once, then the murder weapon should not be broken yet. Come on, guys. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? <laughs> Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. Objection! <laughs> Another objection! Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not- Sorry, but you're wrong. The tip of- <laughs> The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. Hey. What? That's right! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't get to read that damn it. <laughs> The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is mistaken. Okay. Rude. Oh. <laughs> I'm behind in science. That's why I asked her so many times that she was sure she remembered correctly. I believe you were annoyed at the time. Annoyed. Oh, but she was sure she remembered correctly. But... There's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Hubby. There's <laughs> another explanation. Have you forgotten already? About a little something called falsified evidence. You're treading on thin ice, right? Um, excuse me. All I'm saying is that this broken knife might be the piece of evidence that was forged. You can't deny the possibility. That'd be gross. <laughs> no. Ah! Because they had to shove it in there. Yeah. Order, order, order. Are you saying <laughs> the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor, no shit. Please allow me <laughs> to... <laughs> Sometimes I wish. I wish that was scripted. <laughs> Your Honor, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> uh, please allow me to once again go over the events that took place the day of the murder. 
The police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. Check out this nipple. After receiving the King of Prosecutors Award at the ceremony, Neil Marshall questioned Joe Dark along with Damon Gant. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. It is my belief that somewhere in the story, there's a lie. Hmm? Alright. I'm not lying. The man really was holding up a broken knife. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. <laughs> there must have been another broken knife. What are the chances of the two? What are the chances of there being two bro Another broken knife besides Joe Dark's, really? You, you were so confident, but you don't even know yourself. Could there have been one? There is another one. There is another one. If the witness is this adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't just be explained away by a simple observational error. Mr. Wright. In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume then that you have some information about this other broken knife. If so, please feel free to enlighten us. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. Well, we don't. Do we have the broken trophy? Um, we don't have the trophy, but we have something that shows the trophy. A picture of the trophy yep. he's holding? Yep. Okay, so check it? Or uh, present. Yeah. Uh, well, just present it? Yeah. Done. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take it so good. Oh. <laughs> Take on me. There is one. Oh. Take on me. Take me. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Uh, I like vines. It's fine. The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here inside this picture. This is a picture of the award ceremony. Ah! What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? It's the... the broken murder weapon. Notice the award, Prosecutor Marshall Hold is... Hold. Notice the award! God damn it. <laughs> Notice the goddamn award Prosecutor Marshall is holding! <laughs> That's a broken knife. As we earlier concluded, the knife in the picture was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was the li in, in, in all likelihood. <laughs> <laughs> the knife the witness saw was in all. Oh my God. The knife the witness saw was in all likelihood this award. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking is hard. Hi Lunatic. <laughs> Speaking is so hard, guys. I need a drink. Hold on. <laughs> it's tea. Don't get any ideas. Oh my god. <laughs> I love angry beavers. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's so good. Also, it's got Zim's voice actor, so even better. Oh my god. Order, order, order. Neil Marshall was awarded King of Pros Prosecutors that day. As an award, he was given this broken shield and broken knife. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out his knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in a dangerous situation. But that... that can't be. Oh, why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because if the killing of prosecutor's award knife was the murder weapon, then the murderer and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? 
I mean... This man raising a knife would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh. Oh! <gasps> no. <laughs> I just heard this giant cast. No. 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 Don't know. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? That's not good. That means she stabbed me on the back. That's not good. <laughs> uh, I'm emotional. This is fine. I'm scared though, but I'm emotional. But the prosecutor was the one who actually died. That's true. What's going on here? I already figured out penis. Did you say the judges? I'm at Edgeworth, it seems right. Did you say but the prosecutor was the one who actually died? Yeah, and then I read Oh, okay. Phoenix Sorry. is after that. I... No, you're fine. <laughs> uh it's okay. It I had seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. Fucking hold it. Wait, I I remember now. I remember everything. Witness? Mr. Edgeworth. What is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? The one that picture scribbled on the back? Is it got scary music? I knew it. This picture. I'm the one who drew it. What? You drew that? That's right. The list was the list wasn't torn in half at the time I drew this picture. <clears throat> so put it together, and what do you get? <laughs> I'm still confused. Okay. All this time I've been trying so hard to forget. I must have locked this part away deep inside me. Perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness testimony. Would you please tell us what you've recalled, Miss Sky? Yes, Your Honor. First the knife mix-up and now the blue badger? This could be interesting. I'm a little confused about the blue badger. <laughs> When I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and I rushed towards both of them. I think I... I knocked away the man with the knife. Just then there was another flash of lightning, and that's when I saw the blue badger. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. Okay. It didn't exist two years ago. Did it? I don't think so. I thought it was pretty new. Yeah! This is certainly most unusual. Objection! I object. Try impossible. <laughs> the head detective of criminal affairs didn't even design him until this year. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. Oh, I didn't, I was thinking, I didn't read. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> Stop, please. Don't pursue this any further. Lana. What's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in the defendant's chair. But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime. Why can't you just leave it at that? Chief Prosecutor Sky. We've already come this far. It's too late to turn back. <clears throat> Silence. The defense will now begin its cross-examination. Bailiff, please detain the defendant. Seems we're finally getting to the core of the matter. But there's still two more trials, so I don't think...
Okay. So. Um, we want to press her last statement when she's talking about, uh, he wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. We want to press it? Yes. Okay. His shadow. So you mean you didn't actually see his face with its winning smile and all? That's right, but I still remember it. He had three creepy horns. This is pointless. That thing couldn't have possibly existed two years ago. The witness must be mistaken. Objection! Objection right back. That may well be. But what's important is what caused her to think she saw that what she did. Oh, and I suppose you have an explanation? If so, then by all means, please tell us what this shadow really was. Well, she drew it sideways. So I'm guessing a chandelier or something, but... What was it Emma saw that that went? Uh, what was it Emma saw when that lightning flashed? Who is this blue badger, really? I'm guessing I might just know. I just might know. Blue badger had you even been dreamed up when Emma took the picture. Yet she's certain she saw its shadow. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the defense's belief that on that fateful day two years ago. There indeed was something that looked similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Mr. Wright. She, why is she smiling? Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> <clears throat> in this room? Well, very well, Mr. Wright. What is it that the witness saw in this that instant? Please show us this mysterious blue badger look like. All right. So, we have it. Going down the line. What do you think it is? Stretch it. Stretch it. Um. I have no idea. I'm looking um, at all the silhouettes of everything. Well, it's not the right. Like, you need to flip it. I'm trying mentally. Um, What's the weirdest the badge. shape thing? No. <laughs> the badge. Yeah, it's the badge. It's the badge. <laughs> it's true. Present it. Oh my it's god, badge. it's the fucking vase. There you go. Present. That just threw me off because the sides aren't as long as the top in, in the drawing mm -hmm. is. Like, not picturing that. Okay, present the vase. Unstable jar. It's in the photo. I did notice that. Behind them. Mm -hmm. The mysterious blue badger was, in fact, this. But that's... Uh, what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of jar. J jar. But Mr. Wright... That doesn't look anything like the blue badger. Indeed it doesn't. As it stands now, it's just a plain jar. However, what if we were to change our viewpoint? Our viewpoint? I've got to show them the correct angle to look at this. Well. Like this. Just completely upside down, right? Okay, what you want to do is flip it over to where you're seeing the blood. And then kind of tip it back a little bit so that it kind of looks like <clears throat> the three horns. I see it now. Does that makes sense? See it? Yep. Yep. All right, ready? So present it. Yeah, let me just... Okay, there we go. Yep, present. Well, is this a Maybe miracle? This isn't... What the heck? That's exactly what it's supposed to look like. The key to do it wrong? I I'm at, well, it. is this a miracle or what? I don't think I tipped it far enough. Oh, this is so annoying. Alright, hold on. <laughs> oh, wait. Flip <sighs> down and reverse it. Anyway. Hello. Hey, White Zipper! Hello, hello! And you had to watch. Hey, Phoenix Wright. My blind playthrough. He does not blind playthrough. Hey. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, 
There we go. All right. We did it. Well, is this a miracle or what? No one can possibly deny this jar's resemblance to the blue badger. No, it can't be. Order, order. The defense has proven its claim. The mysterious blue badger witness on that day of the crime was actually this. Objection! Although we all enjoyed Mr. Wright's dramatic performance, one question remains. What's your point? What do you mean? So that badger thing was actually just a jar. That doesn't change anything. Objection! But it does. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. You see, this changes everything. Indeed. Very well, then. Please tell us. What's different now that we know the witness saw the, this jar? Guess what, cat? All no three. secret. It doesn't matter what you pick. Because <laughs> it's all three. Yeah. Uh, let's do the murder weapon. Sure. All right. Allow me to take these in turn. At the moment of the murder, the witness saw this jaw. Ja the jaw. The jaw. The jaw. Not only that, but she saw it at a very specific angle. Knowing this, where could she have seen this jar? Where? The location of the jar is shown in a picture taken the day of the crime. It's on the shelf in the office of Damon Gant. Objection! But the body was found lying near Lana Sky's desk. The witness testified so herself. Objection! Yes! And it is these two facts that reveal what exactly transpired. You see? The struggle between Dark and Marshall did not take place in Lana Sky's office. It happened on the other side of the room in Chief Gant's office. Are you implying the murderer moved the victim's body from Damon Gant's office to Lana Sky's office? Yes. Why would he do that? There's no reason. Exactly. If there wasn't a reason, he wouldn't have gone through the trouble. The only logical conclusion is that there was a reason. Do you know what that reason was, Mr. I don't know, do I? I finally figured it out! So this is why Lana tried to stop the trial. It's too late to quit now, though. Fuck the kid's future. <laughs> yep. Please recall the witness's testimony. She said she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. In the next instant, the jar was hit and flew through the air. Now tell me, what could have sent the jar flying? There would have had to been the impact the man made when he was knocked into the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may draw your attention to the picture once more. If the man was knocked in the direction of the shelf the jar was sitting on, what would he have hit? The suit of armor, holding a very sharp and dangerous looking sword. Yes. Turkey baster. Turkey and baster. Since, <laughs> and since the man who was knocking... Since the man who was knocked into the armor was carrying a broken knife, he would have had to have been Neil Marshall, wielding the prosecutor's award. No, Mr. Wright. You can't be thinking. Yes. There's another possibility of what actually transpired in that room. Another possibility? Judge, follow. Of course, the perpetrator could... Of course the perpetrator would have no idea. But none, nevertheless... I... I don't know if I can go through with this. Mr. Wright, what's the matter? If events took place as the defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. In that moment, assuming the man Emma Sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Uh oh. Yep. Ow. Ow. Mm.
You mean... It, it happened a little differently than I was expecting, but same outcome. Mr. Marshall died because of me. No! Thud. Well, I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. Really? I did. <laughs> so it was the vis so it was the witness who took the victim's life and then proved so with her own testimony. This is unprecedented. Anyway, the suit of armor killed him. It wasn't Emma. It was the suit of armor. Yeah, like, she wouldn't be charged for that. Why the fuck is she hiding everything? She's also underage. What? What are you saying? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? The guy under the stance of something. I don't know. I passed it just reading it and not... Oh, you're like, I'm just gonna keep going and reading it. I'm just sitting here by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the circumstances. Sorry. Jodak murdered Prosecutor Marshall. How can you think it was Emma? How dare you try to pin this crime on her? Imagine that coming from you. If you recall, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body was to keep anyone else from finding out what Emma did, wasn't it? I assure you, Mr. Edgeworth, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you hope to have anyone believe your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. Tell me, do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my sister killed Neil Marshall? E evidence? Yeah, that's what, is that? what you need. What is evidence? <laughs> I'm willing to bet you don't. Yes, it certainly would be difficult to prove this with the evidence. If we don't have evidence, then we'll have to rely on testimony. I'm gonna turn my back on you. Rude. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. Exclamation point. We certainly can't get dead people to testify. I mean, yes. we could. If we had yeah. Maya. Ha <laughs> ha! That's true. This has all been a wild goose chase from the beginning! No, it hasn't. Hmm. Touche, Miss Sky. Of course, that only leaves us with one possibility. <laughs> you mean, there's still another possibility? What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? I mean, the possibility that the victim has left us a message. For better or for worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. Who would do that? Somehow. Like, it's okay. Like if all I'm, over again with yeah, Mia. If I was bleeding out, my thought would not be, oh, hold on, hold on, I gotta, like, use this, uh, this blood letter. to write down this person's name. I would be, you know, screaming. Um, exactly. possibly trying to tie the wound off, um, yeah. reminiscing on my life and how <laughs> unimpressive it was. That's probably what I'd be doing. I probably would not be trying yeah. to write the victim or the murderer's name somewhere. Nope, not at all. Oh my god. <sighs> that's, that's impossible. Well, Mr. Wright, this is the only possibility left to you. A message from the deceased. Does such a message exist? Sure, why not? Gotta think back to the court record. The real murderer's name was that the real the real murderer's name that the victim may have left behind is in the evidence. I'm guessing. Of course. This message from the deceased is already in our possession. Mr. Wright, will you stop at nothing to prove my sister a murderer? Do not Sonic. be mistaken, Miss Skye. Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There is only one thing we seek. The truth. No matter how painful it may be. Now then, Mr. Wright. Please show us the piece of evidence. It's also that conveys a message from the deceased. It's also the day 
after you can or two days after you can even use it, right? So technically she's in the clear. According to these rules, not that you know real life works. This <laughs> According way. to these rules, so not not real life rules. I I don't know if it's past the limitations on the case or not. In Phoenix Wright Land. <laughs> Phoenix Wright Land. Alright. The only message I can think of is the strip of cloth. But that's not a message from the deceased. Uh, no. So... Think about, you said it was just like case two. What was the message written in? Blood. And what do we have that has blood on it? A shoe. Uh, no. That was the other murder. A handprint. Uh, the vase. There you go. So still the vase? Present it, yep. Stupid vase. It. Stupid vase. This is the message left by the deceased. This is that blue badger from before, right? Oh, is he going to just speak the killer's name? If that thing could, I'm sure it would. <laughs> Ed Edra, Edra like hates it so much. <laughs> He's like, that thing's fucking nightmare fuel. Looks like everybody's forgotten just... <laughs> Looks like everybody's forgotten this is just a jar. A message was left here, on the surface of this jar. What do you mean? If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wipes the blood, the blood away. Yes, but notice. For some reason, the blood on some of the fragments was not wiped away. Yes, there's a line here. Drawn in blood. Why would he have written Emma across the base? Like, that just it, seems fucking weird. It does. And also, like, why would he hate her enough to do that? It was on accident. So, Emma, I need to accuse you. It's just, Emma, I okay. accuse you. It's just, <laughs> nobody would do that. So what you're saying is these dots were once lines. Did we get yes. to play connect the dots? Prosecutor yes, Marshall. <laughs> Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He used the few precious moments left to him to leave behind a message. One that someone apparently wiped away. But blood must have seeped into the jar where the lines changed directions. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points. And the victim's message will become apparent! No. <laughs> what? I was waiting for you to say no, but then I was like, are you waiting for sub? I'm not sure. Thank you for the sub assassin, by the way! Oh. <laughs> no, I was, like a, I was like a half second behind. Oh, got you. Thank you so much, Assassin. Throw all the love in chat. I thought you were before, but if you were not, you now have access to Squid Love Emo and to the Discord if you have it linked with Twitch. You just need to exclamation point Discord if you need any help. And welcome to the winners where everyone's a winner. Thank you so much. A okay. Mr. Wright! What kind of message did the victim leave for us? Really? Send news. Your Honor. <laughs> Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. If you edit this, Kita, please just put in red writing, send nudes across this. I will. <laughs> Talking to future me. If I edit this. Oh my god. If we get this far. If we get this far. Which I don't know Your if Honor. we will. <laughs> Honestly. That was just so good. Uh, oh, I, I, uh, I edited um, the Elliot Potato. You'll have to watch the... Uh, the life video. Oh my god, yes. I also saw that you put Evitz. I did. <laughs> yes, Evitz. Evitz. Your Honor, I believe these blood stains will reveal to us the answer. I've got to connect these dots to make letters. There's only one thing the victim would have written under these given circumstances. The murderer's name! Alright. Alright. So we gotta, we gotta draw it. 
Uh, this is real bad for me. All right. Let me know when you got it. This <laughs> is really gonna take me a second. <laughs> it's a little clunky. Yeah, I imagine it's worse on the Wii. It's nice to have the touch screen. Can I just do a Oh, damn it. I hit P. There we go. Looks like a butt. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, that looks really annoying on the Wii. I'm, I'm watching you. <laughs> get, get out of the fuck. You know? You know? Okay, I did it! Yay! Good job. Present it. Present. Take that. Take that. Take that. It's a defense attorney's duty to prove his client's innocence. That's why all I've been thinking about is saving lives. After all my efforts, I never thought it would be- it would turn out like this. <laughs> Bless you! Emma. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> That's what it I says. I did say Emma. <laughs> it is what it says. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Because it makes so much sense. Or maybe somebody else did it. Wrote down, Emma. Of all people! She may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. Well. Seaworthy, can't say it and I warn you. Shut I'm up. Saying, yeah. Shut up. She got. Do you understand the implications of what you've done? I uh, told the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor to in the case, were you not? Mm. Yes, worthy. And because of you. An innocent man was sentenced to death. No, because of you, because you gave me false evidence, you bitch. He's a bitch. Not only that, but you used forged evidence to ensure his conviction. Fuck off. I don't know how else to make that noise. <laughs> how else do you make that noise? fucking great okay we're not even at the trial for her ladder we're almost there we're almost oh there. my god thank you ego <laughs> oh that was so good uh, but joe dark <clears throat> okay <laughs> this is what but joe dark really was a serial murderer that's undeniable I'm afraid that's not important. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure a serial killer is important. That's a little important. That's a little important. Didn't you know? We're not defender. We aren't defenders of justice. What? We're merely keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death is no light matter. Is that what it said? 
sex on this Yeah, planet. that okay. is what it said. <laughs> Even if there wasn't any cover-up or evidence. Ultimately, the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. Mm. Fuck off. Despite what anyone may say, the fact cannot be denied. Unless you're the oh, one. Oh, the gave jury's it. going nuts. What's going What's on at the, the prosecutor's oh, office? They might have sent an innocent man to his death. How can he just stand there like it wasn't his fault? Order, 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 order! <laughs> oh my god. I like that we got three clips of it. How key to how, <laughs> edgy does Donald Duck, and the best noise. <laughs> this sums up my experience. Uh, the gravel's pounding fell on deaf ears. Unable to settle the crowd, the judge declared a recess. Where this trial is headed, no one knows. I do, because I have a walkthrough. <laughs> to be continued. You said the next area is really short, oh, though. Yeah. Uh, ladder is really short, and then ladder two is long. Okay, I'll go to the bathroom before ladder two, then. Okay. Four, I'm not posting mine. Oh, God, they're... Yes. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. Uh, save! Gant's making me mad, though. I, I know. Lie. He's a piece of shit. He is a piece of shit. All right. Uh, yeah. This one's this one's pretty short. He basically just says some shit, and that's uh. <laughs> he says some shit. <laughs> that sums up this part. Uh, All right. Great. Let's go. <laughs> February twenty fifth, twelve oh six. District Court Defendant Lobby Number Two. Sorry, that's Phoenix. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Hmm. Don't worry about it. This is my problem, not yours. Nope, I'm not interrupting anything, pal. <laughs> He's the jump scare of this game. Uh, he is, though. Dogs. Oh, guess I am. I'll come back later. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, no. Oh, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? You got a lot of nerve, pal, making a detective run all around while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Didn't he already say this? Yeah. Also, also he, got, he got fired. So yeah. unless he got a job at McDonald's, I don't think that he's doing anything. Right. I take it Lana's giving you get having you run errands again? Let me tell you, this is the last time, pal. Yeah. She asked me to give this to you if there was a break in today's trial. Evidence law? Edgeworth was talking about this just the other day. I'm sure you know the two rules of evidence law, don't you, right? Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Seems so. You could at least study some evidence law, really. Well, Chief Prosecutor also wanted me to give you a message. A message? She said, if you're planning to take him on, you're gonna need this book. Him. I guess I'll need to give this book a thorough read in five minutes. Securely slipped evidence law into pocket. Doesn't look like that book will do you any good now, though. All that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. Huh? Haven't you figured it out yet? Why am I still sitting in that prosecutor's seat? Despite all these allegations being thrown at me. Mr. Edgeworth. The real trial today hasn't begun yet. Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun. What? What else is there left to do? Your credibility's been all but ruined with this forged evidence you were unaware of. Emma Skye found out she's unwittingly caused a man's death. And now you're telling me you want to do more? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, pal. You're missing the point, Detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. I still think that's, that's not good either, but that's okay. Weird. That's just weird. That means the real killer is still out there. What? 
heavy breathing. And we're going to expose it. No matter what it takes. This case has hurt too many people. Like my boyfriend. <laughs> exactly. It's time to bring it to an end. Yes, it is. Let's go. Fucking yes. Let's go. Cage February match. February 25th. Phoenix mm -hmm. and Gaunt. Oh, God. I feel like Gaunt would win unless Phoenix is agile. No. No. Let's go He's for the Nats. <laughs> February 25th, 1252. District Court. Courtroom number nine. Go for the badge. Go for the badge. The court. The court will now reconvene. Guy. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. The inquiry committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. Thank you for the news, Your Honor. He can zero bucks. He doesn't care. He's yes, done. well, uh, <clears throat> normally this is where the prosecution calls for the witness, but uh, <clears throat> this isn't easy for, to say. You see, there is some concern that Mr. Ed may have struck a bargain. You think I may have manipulated the witnesses? I didn't say that. It's just, you see, everyone has been talking and we're saying this publicly in front of a jury. This is not a good... Very well, Your Honor. I have a solution. A solution? That being the case, the prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. What? But there's never been in a case example. Undeniably, this is an unusual arrangement, but a very effective one. It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. Mm, well, Mr. Wright, what would you say? Unbelievable. Edgeworth has found a way to continue the trial. Very well. The defense accepts the prosecution's proposal. Then it's settled. The, uh, defense may now go forth the next witness. Mr. Wright. <laughs> you do realize this is your last chance. If you call the wrong witness, this trial is as good as over. The defense calls. The time's finally come to bring out the real murderer. Gant. It was Detective Goodman. You fuck me up. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> It's Gant, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's present it. Damon Gant! The defense calls Damon Gant to the stand. D -d Damon Gant? What does he have to do with anything? Oh, gee, really? Um, he did it? <laughs> As the defendant's partner two years ago, Mr. Gant has first-hand knowledge of the crime. I feel we should hear what he has to say about Hmm. As luck would have it, he should still be in the courthouse. He would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. Wouldn't you agree, Your Honor? True. All right, Bailiff, please escort Mr. Gant to the stand. To the stand. Curious Bearcat. Quick, let's call in Larry Butts. I would lose my mind. I oh would my lose my fucking mind. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Witness, please state your name and occupation. What is this? Some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to lunch. Your name and occupation, sir. Worthy. Are you sure you want to do... Your name and occupation. So, you want to play hardball, eh? Please, Mr. Gant. Fine. My name is Damon Gant. I'm the acting chief of police. Now then, Miss. Yes. <laughs> now then, Chief Gant. The court requests to hear your testimony. Oh, righto. What's with the grim face? First, let's clear up this SL9 incident. Oh, you mean that time that Lana's sister murdered that pro- Wow. Personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh, like what? 
Like the role you played in all of this. Yes. Son, either you're very brave or very foolish. Both. Both is good. Yes. You are aware, of course, that a police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. There's a cat. Do you hear him? No. Oh, okay. I was worried if he was picking up or not. No, I can't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Weapons? Sure. Take my testimony, for example. I don't have to give it if I don't want to. Um... What? <laughs> Is that true? Pretty sure not. But okay. That's way too much power. Yeah. I'm afraid so. The chief of police has the right to refuse to testify. Of course, such an action carries with it certain risks. Don't worry, I'm not here to hinder you. Just remember, if this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say it and warn you. Very well. The witness may now begin his testimony. All right. SL9 incident. As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently she had already arranged the- As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Uh-huh. Mm. Why are you lying? Is that why- is that when Dark was arrested? Him? He was lying on the floor unconscious. You have to relive it. <laughs> Bless you! Thank you. When Emma sent Neil flying, it seems Dark bumped his head. I see. Everything seems pretty clear-cut. If the police chief has the right to refuse to testify, then I'd better hit him hard and fast. <laughs> What's hard and fast, Kita? Um... The sex? The CX? Yeah. Just... Okay. So... That is not what I was expecting! <laughs> <laughs> good. The CX. Uh... Okay, so he's a big fat liar. <clears throat> yes. But, what we want to focus on is when he says, as you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery, because we can present stuff to, um... Call his him kid, out on his like, lie. The safe. Stuff. Uh, not the safe. Okay, so the apparently she had already arranged. Uh, Is no, you the... want to go? No, next one. As you can see, As you I had can nothing see, to do. I had nothing. Okay. Okay. Country. So, okay. what are you thinking? Not the safe, but close. Well, I was thinking the strip of cloth or the vase. Yep. Let's go with the jar. Okay. Jar. Objection! <laughs> you claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. But I'm afraid that is a claim you cannot back up. Explain yourself. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this jar, for example. That's the blue badger you showed us earlier. A piece of the this jar was discovered in your safe. That's not only that, but the evidence list I presented earlier was actually found inside your desk. It was found where? You see, Chief Gant, these articles are evidence uncovered in your office. Are both concrete proof that you have played a part in this illegal investigation. Chief Gant, what is the meaning of this? Oh, here's the defense attorney who may even rival work. So you admit to it then? That you were involved in the forgery? Who, me? Or do you mean you? What? Me? Why would I have anything to do with that? Well, you were the one who snuck into my office when you found this evidence. Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence. Defense attorneys can do so too. Isn't that right, Rido? Thank you, edgy boyfriend. 
However, Detective Gumshoe is present during the investigation. Worthy, my boy. Not even detectives are exempt from the law. Rest assured, Dick will, <laughs> will receive his due punishment on five. Oh. Five. What? What? If Detective Gumshoe's get salary drops any further, he'll end up paying for two work. He was, wasn't he fired? I thought so. I don't know what's happening. Yes, well, in light of the detective's presence, please give us your testimony regarding these pieces of evidence found in your office and the relation to the place in the crime scene. At the crime scene. My, my. Kids these days no longer know how to put two and two together. Ah! Evidence and forgery. Here we go. Let's see. What was it now? A jar fragment. And a... For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. I mean, anyway, you can't prove- What? Yeah, we could totally do that. You could totally- Like, how would we have access to it, but okay. Anyway, you can't prove when those evidence discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, then they're worthless. There's no reason to participate- I'd participate in a forgery. Rearranging the crime scene couldn't help me- Wouldn't help me get- Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. Uh-huh. No, but then you have blackmail, so people can use that. Yeah, so shut your face. Hmm, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. When investigating the crime scene, you should have been more careful to observe protocol. You do understand that I am chief of police, right? There will be consequences. Oh. Indeed, I believe I will press charges. So you won't make the same mistake again. Shut up. My apologies, Chief. But would you mind waiting until tomorrow for that? Today is, well, you know. My birthday. All right, OG. My, it's my birthday. <laughs> All right, OG. In return, though. I know, I know. That place, right? Huh? What are these guys? Telepathic? The fuck? They're boyfriends. Yep, lovers. 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 Always lovers. Always lovers. All right, Evidence and so forgery. which one do you want to press? When the, press when those pieces of evidence were discovered? Nope, keep going. Well. There's no reason he'd pr participate Closer, in a forgery. But not quite. <laughs> Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help him out in any way? There you go. That's the last one, damn. Because he's a liar. Really, Chief Gant? At the very least, there is one very large benefit you... from all of this. Oh, I wasn't aware. What is this benefit? That would be course... That would, of course, be the position you have. Chief of Police! Oh. The resolution of this SL9 incident secured your promotion to Chief. That in itself is sufficient mo sufficient motive. Oh ho ho! Oh, that's a good one. Ah. And do you really think I'm that incompetent? Yeah. What do you mean? Even without that case, I was already in line to become the. The resolution of the SL9 merely sped up the inevitable a little. Is that true, Edgeworth? Yes, he was going to be made chief anyway. Be careful when pointing that finger. Might wind up getting the one pointed at. What? Being. Oh my god. Or you might wind up being the one pointed at. So that means there's only one possible motivation for you to commit forgery. If you didn't do it for yourself, then you did it for someone else. Oh my god. Don't be silly, Worthy. You know me better than that. There are only three people I look out for. Me, myself, and I. Cute. Cool. And there, it's out in the open now. OG, would you mind if I changed my testimony? By all means, please do. Yeah, please. We just let everyone do that. We do. I mean, it's... Where's the lie, though? I wouldn't be anyone's accomplice if there was nothing in it for me. Great. What are you thinking? 
Uh, we probably have evidence to present against that last one. I think we should get more info first. Oh, more pressing? Yep. Press the so, same one? This one. The new one? The new one? Yeah. I wouldn't be anyone's right. accomplice. Yeah. Let's get more info here. Pressing. <gasps> Nothing in it for you. Sorry, but the only person I care about is yours. And that girl, Lana's little sister, was it? If you think I felt sorry for her, you'd better think again. You're right. You don't feel sorry for anyone. Be tough on crime and tough on people. That's how I was raised. You seem to be lax enough on yourself, though. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's a good one, Worthy. Could there have been something in it for him? Given his selfishness, would, it ha would he have helped someone out? Oh, yep. I said no! Fuck. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Well, I'll just wait for you. <laughs> I'll go through, because I have a feeling it'll have me come out. Also, he's just talking to himself. And then, all oh, Edgy said, relax and take a deep breath, right? Fuck, <laughs> thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. Rock this case. Thank you. Thanks. Try and think outside the box, he told me. <gasps> just like Mia. After yeah. all, that's what you're good at, isn't it? I mean, you would know. <laughs> yeah. I think I said the boss. Never thought I'd ha hear him telling me that. All right. Didn't even count against me. That's good. If someone did- wait, 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 wait. What's the line you have? Uh, given his selfishness, would he have helped someone out? And then it says no or point out a couple That's what I, I meant. Do you point out accomplice, accomplice and see what Phoenix says? Why? Uh, because I have a feeling he's just going off and it's not giving me that option again. No, it has to. Oh, okay. Just keep going. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't get reprimanded for that, though. Okay, so it's press that last one again, right? Yep, just do that again. And then just make sure that you point That's out accomplice. Scared. I was pressing A to have things keep going, you know. I know. <laughs> Mistakes ever made, it's true. My bad. Ah, oh, flashbacks, why? Okay, I'm trying to go not too fast. Okay. Point out accomplice. All right, doing it. True. You might, you might not have helped out anyone for their sake, but if it would benefit you, you might decide to assist. That's Mr. Wright. It appears you are positively determined to portray the chief as a nice man who likes to lend people a hand. No, that's not what I mean. Blackmail. Very well, I'll ask. Who is the person you believe Chief Gant might have helped forge evidence? Uh, Lana. Yep. Take that. Done. Take that. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. The the defendant? That's. I believe it's quite obvious in light of the circumstances. Emma Sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Who would want to help her more than her own sister, Lana? And as for Chief Gant, he would also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Self-profit? What do you mean? After the SL9 incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed Chief Prosecutor at the Prosecutor's Office. The person who arranged this job change was you, Chief Gant. But, but, how would he profit from all this? He would be able to use the chief prosecutor as his puppet. Essentially, he would acquire unchecked authority over all investigations. Do you mean to tell me that despite the chief's formidable appearance, he plays with puppets? Oh my god. <sighs> Judge! Yes. Oh wait! You must be puppet as in someone forced to do his bidding. Never mind! <laughs> wow. Admit it, chief! 
You assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. Your motive? To appoint her as pro chief prosecutor so you can control her. Right, oh my boy. You might you have quite an imagination. Let me ask you something. What? Do you have any proof of this? That I controlled Lana? For example, is Lana testifying that I've done such a thing? Lana. She's keeping quiet to protect Emma. There's no way she'd testify against Grant Gant. I'm afraid without any proof, this is amount all amounts to nothing more than mere Unless that is also what happened in this incident. This incident? Oh, which one would that be? Of course I'm talking about the murder of Detective Bruce Goodman. The chief prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. She's a robot. <laughs> Worthy, you'd better watch your tongue. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Just what do you mean? What he means, your honor, is that Chief Gant is involved in the murder of Goodman. Not only that, but Chief is now talk but the Chief is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. What 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 Order, order, order! I said order! Jesus. Mr. Wright, you, you can't be serious. Ah. This, this is the affront, an affront to the highest ranking officer in our law enforcement agents to accuse the chief of police of blackmail and murder. That's a, uh, 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 impossible. I didn't think he was gonna say impossible for some reason. Your honor. I was merely reiterating what Mr. Edgeworth said in easy to understand language. In layman's terms. It's too late, Mr. Wright. <laughs> There's no turning back for us now. We're in this together, lover. <laughs> it looks like he's the one who's decided to go through with this. Can you prove this, Mr. Wright? That the chief, a high-ranking officer of the law, is involved in murder? This murder. Good question. Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Gaunt is just a man. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. I see. Alright then. Show us the evidence that ties Chief Gaunt to the murder of Detective Goodman. Just remember, it better be good. What are you thinking? Evidence law? No. Uh. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is a strip of cloth. But. Oh, um, um, no, because, like he said, you can't prove when, uh, like, if we planted uh, that or not. We, we need solid proof that he is involved in some way, and we do have that. Like, him specifically. How did we get into his safe? Oh, his bad. Oh, so the badge ID mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. So the uh, ID card record. There you go. Present it. Present it. This is the ID card list. Yes, the one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There was one ID on the list we couldn't determine the owner of yesterday. Seven 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 seven. Sorry, but there's no way you can prove that's my ID, my card number. It's your number. <laughs> what? How do you know that? The safe in Chief Gant's office requires a code to open. Seven digit count. Seven digits? You don't mean? I'm afraid so, Your Honor. The code was seven 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 seven. The same as the remaining ID card number on that list. Chief Gant, you entered the evidence room the day of the crime, you little bitch. Ha. 
Order, order! Chief Gant, what do you have to say? Nothing. He's wearing murder gloves. He definitely did it. He is wearing murder gloves. The defense's search of my office was a violation of- And I will demand Mr. Wright be punished to the maximum extent of the law. But right now, this court demands an explanation from you about the use of this ID card. Chief Kent, so you admit it. You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime? Well, what about it? I'm chief of police. Whether it's the evidence room or the bathroom, what's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. Tell me, when you entered the room, were you alone? I always go to the bathroom alone, as I do- uh, As I do with the evidence room. TMI, sir. TMI. Detective Goodman wouldn't have happened to be with you on the day, would he? Uh, of course not! Why would he be? I haven't seen him in days! Objection. I apparently have an objection. You hadn't seen him in days, Chief Gant? I'm afraid you've just undone yourself. On that day, you had to have met with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? A trial's purpose is to determine Lana Sky's guilt. Objection. No, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. If Chief Gaunt met the victim on the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. Wright, I'm going to have to ask you for evidence. Show us proof that the victim went to meet the... Victims, no. Uh, no. Okay, this one's kind of, this one's kind of, uh, a little bit obscure. Great. But, um, basically you have to prove that Goodman would need to talk to the chief for some reason. Lost ID card. There you go. Goodman's lost item report. Yep. Okay. Detective Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Or to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. So Detective Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give that report to the chief of police. Yet you are in possession of the report, which means you can't be sure he filed it. He filed it. How do I know, you ask? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. He needed to? Yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh. Detective Goodman took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then, you accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I accompanied him. There's no other way, there's no other way the murderer and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. Hold on, let me guess what you're trying to say next. What you're going to say next. Ah, the chief of police murdered poor Goodman. Uh, yep. Exactly. But wait. The chief didn't necessarily need to accompany him to the evidence room. He could have just lent him his ID card. Stop helping him, Judge. Yeah, shut yes. up. Yes. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of the sort. Edgeworth's not having it. Nope. Sorry, but that's not possible. <laughs> According to the record, your card was only used once. But you showed us your ID card earlier. If you had really lent it to Detective Goodman... It would have been found on his body. No! Oh my god. Oh, he is a demon. He is a demon from hell. I'm afraid. I'm afraid for my life. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did he try? He tried. He tried. Chief Gant! You- you didn't! The murder was most likely committed on spur of the moment. No one in their right mind would choose the police department as a place to commit murder. I would. 
In the right mind, Kia. <laughs> God. Oh, well, we're... we're clearly crazy. <laughs> After the murder, you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why else? Dispose of Detective Goodman's body. Objection! However, the victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? Uh, I was at the police department the entire day, you and everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. Everyone except me, it seems. Still, you're the chief of police. You have the entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I just ordered an office? Hey, you, take here, this here dead body over to the prosecutor's. I don't think so. No, Lana. That's the she that's the, the perks of being uh, the police chief. Hey, move this body. Get away with murder. Yeah. Chief Gant, you left all the evidence we need to prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's office. And all this time, I thought it was just a useless clue that t was taking up space. How could the chief have moved the body? Mr. Wright, show us this evidence. To move the victim's body, Chief Gant used this. What do you think? The blue badger. No, I don't know. No. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Wait, well, right? just think about it. Lana was at the prosecutor's office all day, so it couldn't have been her. That's what they said. So, wow. what if he had somebody do it without their knowledge? Think about it. Where was the body found? So he put it in Edgeworth's trunk and let Edgeworth drive away? Yep. Well, yeah, because remember, he, he uh, had Edgeworth go back. Because he was like, here, All right. take this. The screwdriver. Yeah. There you so go. wait, we're showing the screwdriver? Yeah. Or the part? Okay. The screwdriver. Was that poor Edgeworth? <laughs> I know. He had a gross, like, decaying body in the back of his trunk. Didn't even know. This is how he moved Detective Goodman's body. What's that? A screwdriver? What, what does that have to do with his case? Mr. Edgeworth, think back to the day of the crime. What is the screwdriver doing here? It's here because... Ah! I was asked to go, by Chief Gaunt, no less. He told me he wanted me to keep it at the prosecutor's office. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back to the prosecutor's office. Mm -hmm. After the ceremony ended that day, I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office. But you did. Because Chief Gant asked you to. You mean I... I... The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. Detective Goodman's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Yes. Unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to carry evidence from a closed case? There's only one possible explanation! To transport the body to your accomplice. Miss Lana Sky. Order, order, order. What's going on here? Is there no room for rebuttal in the defense to the defense's outrageous accusations? Think back to the photograph Miss Starr took at the prosecutor's office. This was not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It is a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Gant, please say something. I believe... Your time's up. My time's up? Sorry, Rido, but I'm having lunch with District Attorney General after this. Bless you. <laughs> We have to get going if we're to make it in time for the early birth special. Let's Sorry. Objection! <laughs> but, but, but the cross-examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier? The police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. It's adorable. I'm sure not for Kita, but for us! <laughs> 
just like, fuck. Hi, Shiny! All the sneezing. All the sneezing. I always thought I'd like take sneezing over coughing and stuff, but then after having a sneezing attack once, I was like, maybe not. Because <laughs> I like almost threw up my back. It's fine. I'm not old. Weapons? Like the right to refuse to testify. I'm invoking that right now. What? That is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certainly certain risks to be considered. Objection. So you're going to just run away after all this? Run away? Don't make me laugh, worthy. You're... I stabbed old Goodman. That's what you're saying, right? But if you had any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it by now. Well, I... You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Mm -hmm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gant is the current chief of police. This court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete... Well, Mr. Wright... Y your Honor... Do you have any concrete proof? Proof that Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman in Miss Skye's disposed of the body. And made her disposed, you know what I'm saying. Do I have concrete proof? Present evidence? No. We don't no, have, I have no proof yet. Okay, I have no proof yet. It's no use showing evidence. I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. Hmm. C-O-G? In that case, this court is forced to penalize you for your allegations against the chief. What? I don't gamble unless the stakes are high. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Shut up. Okay, OG, I'll leave the rest to you. I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This is an affront to a senior officer in our nation's law in law enforcement agency. Hmm. What? Lady Luck, hmm? Maybe we should have a word with her. M Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. A lady who knows the truth. Another witness. Lana! In the absence of conclusive evidence, the only other method of proof is testimony. But Chief Gant has invoked his right to refuse to testify. There's still someone else. One more witness who can answer all the questions raised in this trial. Someone right in this very room. Mr. Edgeworth, who is this person? Oh my god, who's left? Seriously. Hmm, why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is the one calling witnesses today. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? She may not be willing to tell the truth, but we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls forth. Lana Sky. Right? Yep. Okay. Do it. The defendant? Miss Lana Sky? She was in the underground parking lot at 5.15 p.m. on February 20. Her task to dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders. Hmm, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well. The court will now take its final recess for the day. In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the testimony. This court is now in re- I- Um, I don't know who that is. Hold on! Huh? Chief Gat! I thought you were going to eat. Listen good, Lana. Fuck off! Yeah, get out of here. Intimidation tactics. Yep. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claim, there will be terrible consequences. Okay, you're literally threatening someone right Publicly. here in the courtroom. <laughs> Fucks I could give. And that's right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. 
Ah, this isn't good. Of course you'd never support such an outrageous claims anyway, right? And just something to keep think about. Right then. I've got lunch date to meet. I hate him. Uh, we all I hate do. him more than I hate Von Karma, I think. Yep. Yep. Yep, I do. Yep. Okay. If there aren't any further objections, this court is now in recess. February 25th, 2.04 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby, number two. It looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. That cheap. He's something else, eh, pals? Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, I'm not a detective anymore. Oh yeah, sorry about that. No, don't worry. I've already decided where to work now. At your office! Rude. My office? Well, it is our fault that he got fired. It's true. Sure. I'll take the place of that top knotted girl you used to work with. Oh, God. Could he mean Maya? Still, looks like we're all out of moves now. Chief Gon's done it again. How is it he always gets the upper hand? It's not fair he has the right to refuse to testify. Hmm. Settle down, right? Remember what the judge said. But Chief, that is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Risks? What did he mean by that? It's simple. If the chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. Uh, I don't know who this is. You mean he forfeits to, you mean he forfeits his right to say anything too? So he can't fight against oh, hey, it. Oh, hey, Emma. Okay. I guess you're alive. Emma, are you okay? Yeah, when I came to, I was in the medical office. I've been listening to the trial from the gallery. So she heard everything that's been going on. Um, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow relieved. Relieved? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. To think that all this time, my sister was being blackmailed by that terrible man. And she did it all just to protect me. Ever since her appointment as chief prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she'd changed. Perhaps it was easier that way for her. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Gaunt's orders. She must have shut herself up deep inside. To force herself to do anything and everything the chief told her to do. That must be why she came became so cold. It was all my fault. It's all because I... I murdered Mr. Marshall. Hey, don't go blaming yourself now. If you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal. That's, yep. <laughs> Chief Gaunt may be able to fool everyone else with his forgery, but he can't fool my memory. I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I, I see. Well, we better get back. It's time for the final act. Emma? Why don't you wait here? No. I'm going with you. <laughs> I want to be there. When Lana tells the truth. Let's go, right? It's time to end this. Finally! I gotta pee. Ah! Go. Oh my god. Go. So Once pee. you come back, I'm gonna take a stretch walk. Oh my god. That soup's legit. Alright. <sighs> BR. Be guys. Hello again. Welcome to the last part of this game. Where Kat and I try not to die. I'm not sure how long this part is gonna take. It seems kinda long, so we might we might be here for a bit. For a hot second. If you guys are down to clown. Do I have pets? I do have pets. I have three dogs. Three dogs. Hello. 
everybody. I thought life was just one big circus. Well, it is in this courtroom, that's for sure. That's for sure. I fell asleep. What did I miss? Oh, when did you fall asleep, Lucarian? It's been a trip. It has been a trip. For sure. <laughs> hey, Ryan. It's so weird when Cat's chair just starts having a conversation with us, right? I am the chair. And I've become self-aware. Yeah, if you've been here for a while, take a, take a stretch. Take a stretch. Get a drink or a snack. Because we, uh, like I said, I don't know. We got uh, a bit. A bit, a bit, a bit. A bit, a bit. I mean, some of this is going to be exposition, so I'm not sure how fast that'll go, but we'll see. You should get more noms. You should. You should. Uh, I, you might have Themo Worm. I know other, someone has at some point. People have mentioned Aviary Attorney. We're going to be taking a break. <laughs> From uh, Phoenix Wright, we've literally been playing this game since January 1st, so I think we're both really tired <laughs> and uh, ready for for a break. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Tag. Tag. All right, I'm going to go take you a walk. You made s'mores. Oh, my God. I want a s'more. Right? I need to go get s'mores from, like, Walmart and microwave them. Or I guess I could use the oven. I suppose. That's a little more work. Yes, guys, go get noms. Go stretch yourselves. Yeah, no chairs could talk before these streams. Squish chair. I want Gant to go down hard. Same! God. Uh, hi, Orion! Hi. Is there anyone I missed? I'll say hi. No. We're trying not to interrupt this too much, just in case. Kita does have to edit it. I feel bad if she has to, like, edit out so much of me saying hi or interacting with chat, but hopefully we can do that more in the future and it won't be a problem. You ate and drank way too much. Oh, God, no. Take care of yourself. Even Ed Edgeworth you loses his charm after a while. You could never lose your charm. What do you mean? Uh... But of course, take a break first, because that game is so much fun. Everyone keeps saying that, I know, but I'm just worried. I don't know. It'll be interesting. But I know we're going to be playing Splatoon as, like, a way to kind of take a break. Um, have fun. We'll have chats. Splatoon may or may not be Tuesday as well. Just this Tuesday. In the middle of the day. Just saying. Be aware. Your chair, did we choose a name? I think it's Squishy. Or Squish. Sounded like Kita. Oh my god, yes. You still hate Von Karma more? Really? I don't think I can. Like, Car Von Karma's a dick. And he's crazy. But he... The manipulation and the way that this guy's treating everyone is just very i don't like the manipulation more von karma is just aggressive i am more freaked out by the manipulation i think personally the squishy chair hey john monroe hello hello uh squishy chair squish 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 hey uh eating vanilla ice cream smothered in caramel and chocolate chips I'm so hungry. I feel my stomach growling repeatedly. I'm sorry if you hear it. You have so many clips. You guys have been clipping like crazy. It's been amazing. Von Karma sucks. He manipulated Edgeworth for years and just to fuck uh, him up uh, at some point later. It's true. I just, for some reason, I hate this guy more. The more underhanded way he's doing it. Von Karma fucking looked evil. I hate that this guy looks friendly. Like, that's even more freaky. 
I hope you guys eventually get to the second AA game. Crazy stuff happens. Yeah, we have we've been talking about if we or two. We're not sure. We just need a little bit of a break at least. These are so long. Would never have gotten so many innocent people killed if not for karma. That's true. That is true. I don't think about that. Hi, hey, Efray. Hello, hello. Welcome back. I'm thinking about getting snacks, but I also just want to beat it. Because I already got snacks. I don't have much more snacks. So, I have to go shopping. Peanut butter and cookies aren't hard to make. Probably not. I don't know. I've never made them. I've never made cookies with the sugar cookies. Having the ability to humiliate all these horrible, power-hungry characters. Yes. I'm like, screw you, and screw you, and screw you in particular. Always lovers. You're back with food, a. Uh, yeah, I'm so hungry, but I forgot to take my Advil. Damn it. This makes you want to play the games again? Do it, Mona. True. We get your point about the friendly dude being such a scumbag, being freaky, plus his position. Von Karma, psycho, very limited power. Grant is on top and almost untouchable. Yeah, that's what bugs me, I think. Have we stretched already? I usually don't stretch during keto. Just because we're trying to get through it. Though, I mean, she's not here, so I might just do it. He looks friendly. I'm sure he'll flip out when he gets pinned. Oh, he already did. He went Super Saiyan. Hi, Magical. Hello, hello. I hope they put off Phoenix rights on Switches. I, they, oh, they apparently are. Found out on Thursday they apparently are planning on putting them all on Switch. In uh, anywhere from summer to fall or something like that. It's happening someday, Themo. Someday. Hope I'm okay. I'm okay. Bye. Oh, because I'm hungry. Uh, second round of s'mores. Oh, my God. Uh, you were gone for a hot second. Oh, no. I love these games so much. I played them over and over again so many times. But yeah, they seem like a lot of fun. Let me check which I own. All of them. Let your dreams be dreams. No! Always make them real. Always. Chat's not working. Oh, God. Is that happening for a lot of people? Make it a Switch at some point then, too. Damn you, Nintendo. Nintendo's... Guy. I fucking love the Switch. It's a problem. It is a huge problem. Hopefully Twitch won't be mean to chat again. Hopefully not. I know sometimes it does that, though. Oh, no, that's the worst. It's like gum. Myra, get it out quick. Water. I don't know. I, I, I'm just saying water. There might be a better way to get out. All this style savvy games. Kita plays a lot of style savvy. You know that? <laughs> Let your dreams be memes. I love this series, but the replay value isn't that good. Aww. I can see that. It'd be long. It'd be long to like push through again and again. Depends though. Isn't Switch handheld? No, no, no. It can be, but what up? Sup? All right, break it again. I thought about not coming back. Here. Rude. <laughs> Damn. The I'm shade, though. No, not no, for uh, you. This... I'm just like... Uh, uh. <laughs> it's so I long. I was doing some stretches because I'm just like, ah. Yeah. <sighs> uh, but um, on Barbie, yeah, you can buy a pro controller. It's just a controller for Switch, and then you have it in a port onto your computer or TV or whatever. It's HDMI. So you don't have to have it handheld. You love style savvy? Yeah, we're talking about for you. <laughs> hey. hey, Kita has them. You can play yeah, handheld, I, but you I don't played. Have to. I played a good bit of Fashion Forward, like it essentially beat it as you can. Essentially, I mean, you can keep playing forever. That's legit. I can see that for sure. Are you Hi, playing John. till completion right now? Oh yeah, we only have the last trial left. We have a uh, trial ladder two. This is the last part. We are gonna finish it right now. Fucking it is happening. It. Finish God, damn it. So we might be focusing hard to get this done, but we're finishing this. Yep. Pink and green is Splatoon colors. Yeah, this is a Splatoon control. It came. I with have that the, one. Well, it it didn't come. It could come with the Switch. We didn't have the Switch theme one. That one, no, no, wait, the Pro Controller didn't. Uh-uh. The Joy-Cons are green and pink for the, for the Splatoon one, but you can buy those separately now. It's hard to see. Right, you can. Uh, there's so. splats all over it, but it's really hard to see. 
I I saw it and was like, oh, done. you don't have to apologize. You can still you can still enjoy it. Oh yeah, It'll still be fun as long as you don't mind the spoilers. We're just it's yeah. fun. And we have it all archived, so or at least I do. Yeah, and Kita does up until case five, so. No, I, I I think I uploaded the last part. I thought I did. Oh, you've been uploading them? Um, No, no, no. I mean to uh, Twitch. I thought I put the last one up there for the archive, but... Oh, I don't know. I could be wrong. I have to double check. Hey. The limited time controllers? Oh. Well, or limited edition. They might be, but the at least you can always get a pro controller, so that's no... Pro There's controllers are amazing. Kinds. Also, there's yeah, a really sick Xenoblade one. Right? I just don't play Xenoblade. I don't play Xenoblade, but man, yeah. I like the controller. I also really like the Zelda one, but it's corded. I'm like, damn yeah. it. Yeah, no. Nah. That but I kind of am like thinking point. about it if I use it a lot, but we'll see. Yeah. All right. Are you hey. ready? Are you I am ready? ready. I'm saving up until this point. All right. Here we All go. Right. February 25th, 2.21 p.m., District Court, courtroom number nine. Let's do this. Now then, will the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, please take the stand? Please. Miss Lana Sky, you are the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. But Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know all that I've done these past two years. Please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Sky. And remember, you are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Of course. The truth. Lena, no matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. Now then, your testimony, if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gant. Gant of Fabrication. I worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. <sighs> Are you sure about this testimony? Your Honor, I'm confessing to a capital offense. Of course I'm sure. But Lana... If this is true, then that means Chief Gant has nothing to do with this. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright. You've got to help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But what if she's telling the truth? She's not. <laughs> she's not. I know my own sister. Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony. <laughs> yeah, this is no time to start second-guessing myself. Uh, no, Phoenix. No time. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Yeah, and the fabrication. <sighs> Alright. Alright. So what do you think about pressing? Uh, I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. Close. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene? Yep. Okay, let's get more info about that. You say you did this all by yourself. Yes. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? Seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor award knife was stuck in the victim's body. What? We just get to see that a lot. But prosecutor Marshall died by an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. The reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but I'll never change this statement. 
You mean Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Doc? Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Doc was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh, that was lying on the floor a little distance away. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up her lies with more lies. All just to protect me. So when you found the scene like this, what did you do? After all, this is what everything boils down to. Yes. I broke off the tip of Doc's knife, planted it inside the wound, then moved the body. Alright. Do you want to press that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, get away a sec. There we go. You planted the tip of Dark's knife in the- Oh god! And then you moved the body? <laughs> but why? Why would you do that? You of all people should know, Edgeworth. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. My head isn't that bad, but maybe I ought to <laughs> ask for the sake of the others. Why did you plant the knife? Mm. Or why did you move the- I mean either, but I guess why did you move the body? Yeah. Okay. When you showed up on the scene, you were exact- Where exactly was the victim's body? It was where you deduced it was, by Chief Gaunt's desk. But the body was found by your desk. Why did you move it there? The reason for that is simple. Let's have the witness explain this in more detail. The reason Miss Sky moved the body. The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. Press. Yeah, sorry. I went to the next statement. Yeah, so let's press that. Pieces of the jar, you mean? Yes, that wretched jar Mr. Wright showed us earlier. In order to show that Drake committed the crime, I felt it would be more expedient to move the body. So, when you first found the body, the jar was already... Of course, it had been shattered to pieces. If you looked at the crime scene, it would be clear right away what happened. That. Neil Marshall was dead, and Dark was lying unconscious. In other words, the jar must have been broken during their struggle. I see you. What's the matter, Emma? Apparently the jar shattered at the time the crime was committed. But I have a feeling there's more to it than that. There must be a contradiction somewhere. Alright. Anyway, I committed this fabrication completely alone. All right. Press it had nothing to do with Emma, or do we present? No. Um. No, because remember how the name was written on the jar? It couldn't have. That couldn't have happened. Been after broken. It was broken. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Hold on. What are you, what are you doing, Allie? <laughs> what are you doing? Being cute. She came in when I had the door open. Hey. <laughs> Doggos. We think we might in the future magical. We're not exactly when we'd be. Maybe we'd wait till it comes to switch. I don't know. Uh, but we're taking a break for now because it's been a long journey. And it is very exhausting, even with the guide. Like, it, it's just energy. Lots of energy. Oh, sorry about that. Hey. Okay. No, you're fine. Alright. Um, yeah, so, that can't be, that can't be true, because we can just show the jar and be like, well, but be lying. So present right. the jar. On um, the pieces of the jar? Mm-hmm. Okay. Objection! Objection! 
getting to it. Unstable jar. Sweet. Miss Skye, I understand how you feel. You committed that crime, quote-unquote, two years ago to protect your sister. You mean the forgery at the scene where Neil Marshall was... If that truth were to be exposed now, the past two years of your life will have been useless. Even so, I am compelled to bring to everyone's attention a significant contradiction within your testimony. A contradiction in my testimony. You testified, and I quote, the pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. That's right. Do you have a problem with that? It's a simple oversight, really. You see, a message was written on this blood. Yes, the prosecutor must have written it in his final moments. Exactly so. And this is where the contradiction lies. In order for the victim to be able to write this message on the jar, it must not yet have been broken before he died. Ugh. He couldn't have written Emma's name on a shattered jar. These are facts. Order, order. Your Honor, it would appear more information is needed in regard to this jar and its bloody message. We may be missing something critical here. Something critical? Chief Prosecutor, it seems you're as in the dark as we are about the truth towards which we're headed. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth. Very well. The witness may now continue her testimony. Jar and message in blood. I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar, but it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. You mean you were the one who wiped away the sigin blood? I wasn't chief prosecutor at the time. She didn't think Dark was the real murderer? That's why she tried to erase the real evidence. Very well. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Okay. Alright. So, she says the fragments were large, so I made sure I got them all. She can't, she can't have gotten them all, because there was the missing yeah. piece. Right. So, if we present the stupid jar again... Oh my god. I know. We can be like, actually, this was found in Gaunt's safe. Can we just keep this jar in front of yeah, you? Yeah, can we just have it sitting next to us and just hold it up every time we need to present oh it? Oh my god. Seriously. All right. Okay. Objection. Miss Sky, I believe this jar conceals the truth even you are unaware of. What? We found the final piece of the, this jar in Chief Gaunt's safe. In the chief's safe? But how? I knew it. She really did it now. There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was... still blood on it. But the witness just testified that she gathered every last piece and wiped the blood off them. Yes, which leaves us with only one explanation. On the night Prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up on the scene. Chief Gant got there before you. But couldn't the defendant have simply missed a piece? Objection. I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. The very mo very mo well be? Very <laughs> may well be! But everyone makes mistakes! Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. They were in my mouth all along. Have you forgotten, Your Honor? When this witness arrived at the scene, the jar was already broken. Oh, that! There's no way a name could have been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. 
I hope you're not implying this person is Chief Gant. At that time, he was looking for Dark downstairs. Besides, even if he were there first, why would he break the jar? The real question is, the question is, if he did arrive there first, why did he hide the fact, that fact, for two years? <laughs> well, Your Honor, can you answer us that? The judge is on the spot now. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> he doesn't like Super Saiyan. This is disappointing. It's you zero want his to, beard to fly off. Yes! Please entertain me. Wait! I'm not the one on trial here! Oh my god. Damon Gaunt arrived at the crime scene prior to the witness. He proceeded to break the jar and purposefully hid one of the broken pieces. Question. What is this action called? Fabrication. But why would Chief Gant do that? In light of what happened afterwards, isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana Sky believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gant's aid. Leading, lending her his aid, Gant helped her create evidence that incriminated Dark. Sparing Emma. And here is the reason. The reason why my Sky became the Chief's puppet. Ooh. She no. just, like, bit her thumb so hard she yeah. bled. Ew. I... I did it on my own. Please, sis, stop trying to protect the Chief. I... I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake. No, you didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. You didn't kill anyone. Don't believe anything Mr. Wright says. Defense attorneys make up the most... Make up the he? Make up the he. Um, okay. Defense attorneys make up the most foul lies to defend the clients. Foul lies? Imagine that coming from my own client. Lol. Hmm. Whoa, I hummed in such a way my teeth vibrate. Heard. <laughs> hmm. I guess you do seem the type who likes to twist the truth. Wow, wow rude. Huh. Wait a minute. What if? We're still smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap! Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Lana, maybe right after all. What do you mean, right? So, you do tell foul lies then, Mr. Wright? Rude. <laughs> Miss Skye, please testify once more. But... If evidence was fabricated behind your back... Then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. But I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Oh, because who the fuck would write Emma on the face mm -hmm. when they're about to die? Yep. Only the murderer. Yep. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy, if you will. All right, I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However, there is a possibility that it will, if you tell the truth. Very well. I'll testify about what I really saw. Thank you. All right. Thanks. The witness Sorry. may testify once more for the final time. Actual crime scene. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor's sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw what had happened, I thought she did it. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to the murder. I had Chief Gaunt help me remove the body from the sword and carry it. But if it all really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent. Unbelievable. The body was impaled on an armor sword? You were the only one who saw that. If only you had proof. Actually, I do have proof. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. The book? Yep. What? To me? It's a picture I took of the crime scene as I encountered it. I thought it might be needed. 
Well, that was some forethought. Convenient. But I don't remember receiving a picture like that. Lana must have known. See, Mr. Wright? She really does have faith in you. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please present this picture. Alright, I don't remember receiving any pictures from Lana. Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check that evidence again. There must be a picture in there somewhere. Okay, yeah, we got it. Memo. Thanks. 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 Alright. Alright, let's check the book. Evidence law. Check. Check it. Got a cute little book. How do I flip it the other way? Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Alright, oh, so God. we gotta examine it. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Are you are you having a problem? You a gotta examine it's the all, back. Okay. It's all rotating. Uh, oh. Oh, ma'am. Okay. Examine. Alright. Examine. Done. There's a picture. Hey! There's a picture here! What a shocker. <laughs> Ew. Well. Oh. Oh my. This is the actual crime scene. No other detective saw the crime scene like this. It's because I contacted criminal affairs only after I rearranged the scene. Lana's picture inserted into the court record. Ew. Mr. Roy. What? That piece cut out from his vest. Could that be... The cloth we found inside Chief Gant's safe. What's this? Emma's fingerprints. It's handprint. That cloth. It had fingerprints on it. Whosoever fingerprints those are must be the real murderer. Don't say that. No. What? Put those fingerprints. They're yours, Emma. Well, your lips turning all purple, Mr. Wright. Anyway, let's get on with the cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. Very well. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Okay, actual crime scene. Mm. Oh, hold it. Damn. Wants you. Get out. Come now, OG. Get out. This is the pro poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. I thought you can't speak now. You give up your right. Yeah, anyway. Chief Gant. What? Now you want to make me out to be the bad guy, too? If so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. Nope. I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined testimony. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. This must be the risk the judge was talking about. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your own neck. Ah! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <coughs> uh, so what? You think I'm worried? I think you're nuts. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Yes, that's true. Wait, do you mean you still have some conclusive evidence? No, I don't, but someone does. Someone? So then, what's your excuse, Rido? Talking about the cloth. Mm -hmm. Why have you been keeping quiet about it? Oh, you do have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall causing death. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. I is this true, Mr. Wright? Maybe. If I show that piece of evidence now, I'm not sure to be made out as the murderer. Mr. Wright! If you have any more evidence, present it now, and if you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? If 
better think of this. I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? I want that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall. Uh, no. Cannot show evidence. Yeah. Doing it. Doing it. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. What? You lie! Chief Gant, you you opened my safe! You know I- you- I know what you took was inside- oh my god. I know you took- oh my god! I know you took what was inside! The conclusive evidence! But it's gone, your honor. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. That's right. Oh my god, Why don't Emma, you shut them? up. We found it together. Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. What are you talking about, Chief Gaunt? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest? Notice anything odd about the rat chest area? It looks like part of it's been cut out for some reason. You mean you had this in your safe? What? That means the chief of police concealing evidence. This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of police department. <laughs> Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had a gall, Rido. Huh. Well, I can't just let you pin me up against as the murderer. I'll tell you what you re what really happened. Except you can't, cause you still provoke. What? You mean you admit to it? He still can't talk. Ah, uh, maybe because he's confessing. Or then that's like a clause or something. I don't know. I was the first person to arrive at the scene of the crime. Then it then occurred to me that I could use the situation to. So you really were manipulating her. I knew Lana. If I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, then that when she saw the scene, she would ask me for my aid. So you assisted Miss Sky. I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the victim, the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. When we arranged, rearranged the crime scene, I had two pieces of evidence. I did this before Lana arrived at the scene. Two pieces of evidence? You mean those items in your safe? But why? For insurance, of course. Insurance. I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for the murder of the, the girl committed. You mean you were really, you were calculating that far ahead while for evidence? Who do you take me for? A fool? I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? Yes. I hid the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Llama to go. Llama. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood off all the pieces. Oh my god. But if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on this jaw too? Ho ho ho. Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? And that's why I kept one more item for sure. You mean, that piece of cloth? Come on, Rido. Cough it up already. I know you have it. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? Emma! <laughs> so you admit to it then, Chief Gant. That you were hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's vest in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, being chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. Well, Mr. Wright, 
What do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence to present. Foolish move, Rido. You should have known it before it was too late. It's been a long battle. But the moment of truth has finally arrived. I smell food. <laughs> I think River made food and I'm hungry. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. We're getting there, cat. We are. Oh, uh, it smells there. like pizza. <laughs> Oh, we're getting there. Uh, uh, torture. As long as I don't mess up here. Victory is mine! Uh, cannot show evidence. No. Show evidence. <laughs> yes! Okay, it's show evidence. evidence. We wanted, Phoenix wanted him to confess first. Gotcha. Okay. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. All right, then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. Are we not showing it? No, we're showing the cloth. Oh, okay. Take that! Present it? Mm-hmm. Take that. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh, yes! At last, you've finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this piece of cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that be immediately sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather, there must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. You mean? It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence. Edgeworth, you're not helping. No, you're not. Ho, ho, ho. You're as slow as on the uptake as ever worthy. What? Think about it. Rido had all this time to present this evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Why would he... Why would that be? You mean you already know. Sorry, husband. You know whose fingerprints are on that. Mr. Wright, do you really know? Whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? Very well. I'll tell you. Scans. Should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person whom these fingerprints belong to are... Do we pick Gant? No. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> no, we have to tell the truth. Emma Sky. Yep. Okay. Present her. Emma? Emma Sky? What? They're mine. I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? Oh ho ho ho! You're really something, Rido. You knew this girl did it all along. And you still tried to pin the murder on me? So it's true. Tragic, but true. This girl really did shove Prosecutor Marshall to death. To his death. How could you? You... you monster! Miss Guy. You knew whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you... You acted like she really didn't... Miss Guy, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Huh, but I'm afraid it is over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career too. That's it. You purposefully, you purposefully concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. That's it. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy. No, you can't badge. have my badge. No, it's my no. badge. No, <laughs> it's not the badge. Not the badge. Uh, what's the matter? Can't catch your tongue. Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer? I'm just not saying shit. Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh, and what's that? Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? 
What? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was... It was Emma Sky, wasn't it? I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is that fool babbling about? I'm talking about a contradiction! You know? Hmm. One that proves who the real killer is! Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth. What could pos what could it possibly contradict? Chief Gant, your tyrannical brain ends here. Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this. Okay, uh, so what is the newest piece of evidence we got? Uh sure. Right. Now if you look at it and you see where it's have blood! The right, there you go. The murder happened after the clock was done. There you go. All right. So present the picture. Mm-hmm. And what exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture Miss Sky took. Take a good look at it. See where the piece of his vest was cut out? Yes. His shirt was showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his vest, though. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood Ugh. poured out of his mouth. Ugh. Oh, but that piece of cloth. Wait, there's no blood on it. Gah! Since Emma Skye's fingerprints are on this cloth, there's no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword. No, this is nonsense. Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Guy? Picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the armor's sword. <laughs> Then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. Then he broke the jar on purpose to leave behind a clue. And to make Lana believe her sister did it. That's... Remember what you admitted only moments before ago, same thing? That you personally cut out this bloodless piece of the victim's best. Ironic, isn't it? Though the very act of creating insurance through, you know what I'm saying, you proved that you were the actual murderer! No! Uh. Super Saiyan, it's finished. Is it though? No, of course it's not. Of course it's not. Ah, it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, his hair went. <laughs> it's deflated. Oh, no, perk back up. Oh, it's deflated again. That was close, Rido. You almost had me. Er, huh? <laughs> Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that. Our future. What do you mean you refute his allegations? You can't say anything. You see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. Order, order. What nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. Remember, Oji? Earlier, old Rido here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, Rido? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? That's... Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. Ooh, Wright was really... He was on top of precise it. Precise about his words, though. Yep. Well? Well, that's true. The defense did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence. But that's not fair. Ho 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 ho! Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Did you actually think you could best me in court? It looks like the last laugh's on you, son. A 
I'm afraid Mr. Grant's claim is legally correct. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. True, illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, help me out here, husband. <laughs> the scene, at last. The time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. He's like a mastermind now. Fuck. <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you admit it? Admit to it. That you purposefully and legally can illegally concealed this piece of cloth? I did not. I did not. Please. For some reason, my Wiimote fell asleep. That was weird. Maybe it's dying. I did not. Perfectly timed. Certainly, I refused to present evidence at one point. Uh huh. So the evidence is illegal. Objection. Nope. No, it isn't, Mr. Gale. Huh? It's not that I didn't present evidence then. It's that I couldn't. What do you mean, you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No! But you don't listen to his lies! He's nothing but a coward! You can't let him! Shut up. There's only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well. Let us settle this once and for all. Earlier, you refused to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct was not in violation... Uh... The book? Yep. Evidence law? Yep. Just present the whole book? Yep. Take that. Sure. Look at this handy-dandy book I have in my pants. Handy-dandy notebook! This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on this piece of cloth. However, that at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth, nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. <laughs> rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself, inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have approval from the police department. Rule two, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. And here's the crux of the matter. You see, at the time it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the cloth and the SL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Take one look at this picture and... Objection. Sorry, but can you recall? When was that picture presented? That was shown only a few moments ago. No. He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. <laughs> You yourself confess to a certain truth. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. My remote's definitely dying. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm seeing how long it can last before I have to go get a battery. Mm -hmm. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out the piece of ev the victim's vest? Oh, yes. It was then that you approved this cloth as conclusive evidence. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this cloth. The only person who could have cut the vi this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in the final moments, in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer, and there's only one person that could be... Damon Gant! The killer was you! I have to keep waking up the Wiimote. The clapping noise is so loud. He's going it's to so just aggressive. explode. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I knew 
I should have gotten rid of him. Oh no. That good for nothing scum. For two years he's been snooping around the department trying to get something on me. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he ends up hounding me. That's because you committed a crime! Exactly. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Star, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Bruce Goodman? Bruce, Detective Goodman? I just added his first name, it's fine. Yeah, that's right. If the evidence is transferred, I'll lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room. And then all of a sudden he had to speak out. What are you talking about, Goodman? Uh. Can you please reopen the investigation, Chief? We can't transfer the evidence out. There are too many questions left unanswered. Damn it, Wemo. He told me to open up the evidence room and take it out. It's not too late. I'll hand this to Marshall. Well, to be honest, I was a little panicked too. I had a bad feeling about it, but never knew it would come to this. That's when I saw it. The accursed knife. I couldn't just pull it out. <laughs> you would only increase the amount of blood and you couldn't finish what you started. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I was wiping it up. I was worrying so much about the floor, I didn't realize my mistake. Detective Gumshoes, bloody handprint. I used to be known as the crime computer, but everyone has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. <laughs> I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car. I'm sorry, we couldn't think of any other way to move the body. We broke the trunk, but what's the big deal? Um, what's the big deal? You were framing someone for murder. You pulled down a lot more than us, detectives. <laughs> What does this have to do with anything? You're horrible! How did you get Miss Sky involved in all of this? Well, she had as much to lose as if- as I did, if the truth came out. So you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker? I feel bad for having to do it. I couldn't sit around and pick and choose what to take. Well... You left the jar fragment and gloves. That's- Yeah. Yeah. It looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. And they all did their best to get in my way. <laughs> I've got to hand it to them. And they do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy. What are you going to- What are you doing in court? Me. You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. No. How dare you. How dare. Mm. One day you'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. Can we just, like, accuse him yet? Well, it looks like <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Udgy. Whoa, whoa. Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. 
<laughs> Sorry, old friend. That's... I'm sorry too, Damon Grant. I knew you as you used to be long ago. You were once a fine investigator and an example to others on the I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer a person. Damn. Those days are gone now, OG. Thanks for all the memories, though. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for the memories. Even though they weren't so great, damn. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine. We won't. I'm begging you. Now you have. Oh, now you have Rido here. Ooh. And worthy. With these two around, you can't go wrong. You see, if I listen carefully, I can hear it now. The sound of a new beginning. Lovers. There are two things I want you to understand. Yes. First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gamp betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Guy, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All that I've done these past two years. From the time I had gone help me forge evidence up until today. So, it seems all the questions raised in this tr- I'm sorry, Miss Guy. I couldn't get you out of all your trouble. My, my, what high standards you have for a rookie. Rude. <laughs> I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows, a few years from now, you just might make it to the top. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Miss Skye. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. Hmm. Which was nothing. Liar. I was worried the pressure might break you. And yet... You rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. Stop it. I only did my job. That's what you say, but you're cute. <laughs> in light of this case, it seems a good self-examining is in order for- Miss Skye? Yes, Your Honor. You are innocent of murder. However, Although the chief blackmailed you, the fact is still you, you still acted as his accomplice. The trial will be scheduled for these crimi crimes at a later date. Yes, I understand, Your Honor. Is there something amusing about all of this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I've felt free of these heavy chains. Well, this trial has gone for on for far too long already. Yes, it has! Ain't that the truth? Regarding the charge of murder, this court finds the defendant Miss Lana Sky. Not guilty! Ah! Confetti! Yay. Confetti! Ah! That is all. The court is adjourned. February 25th, 5.03 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Again. Oh, thank you for the bits, Lucarian! Achievement unlocked the final objection. Thank you so much. Guys, that was a lot. At long last, it's finally over. Uh, Emma! Why the long face? I'm sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook. But at least she wasn't convicted of murder that she didn't commit. No, that's not it. Just now, after the trial ended. I can't- Why do we need to have a re- Like, this just happened. <laughs> this literally <sighs> just happened. I can see why Mia Faye thought so highly of you. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. 
You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. You've done well. Aww. You know, I did my best too. But Mona didn't say a single word to me. Hope I'm not <laughs> interrupting anything. Jump scare! That's... Oh. Yes, I am. I'll come oh back God. later. Ah, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Making a detective run all around while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen oh happier God. people at funerals. You're hey, lighten up, creepy. pals. I'm only kidding. Oh. Are you here because of my sister again? Nope. Not this time. I came today because of you, pal. Me? Aww. That's right. I thought you'd like to see someone. Anna. Dude, I'm trying. I know. <laughs> Should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know? Well, I won't tell if you won't. Emma. I owe you an apology. It's okay, sis. Don't worry about it. That day, two years ago. It was the first time in my life I ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you from getting wrapped up in that mess. Sis. I asked Gaunt to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake. But now, I realize I was wrong. I changed after that day. I had to. It was the only way I could make it through the past two years. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself. But I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. I... I was scared. Scared that you'd look at me with those eyes of yours. I was scared of how you'd react if you knew. But sis, you're only doing it for me. No. I turned my back on you that day, and hide what I believed to be the truth. I was deceiving you. Sis. I'm such a fool. It took me all this time to realize it. Emma, I'm so sorry. But sis, you don't have to apologize. I'm... I'm happy now. You're happy? Of course. You know, sis, I always knew that one day you'd come back. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm so far behind. Hurry <laughs> behind. To keep up because oh. the Wiimote keeps dying. Oh, because the Wiimote's like, dying. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> I was trying to keep up, but the Wiimote's just like getting a little worse. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Because I keep having to wake it up, so I have that time of needing to wake it up. <laughs> okay. Wait, what are you at? And now you have is where I'm at. Okay. Emma speaking. <laughs> I just knew that one day you'd come back. And now you have. Okay! Yeah. <laughs> and now you have. Oh, Emma. Emma. Aww. Aww. Cute. No one can change the past. The only- Bless you. The only thing we can do is strive to make up for our, what is it, mistakes? Yep. Hey! Why must you make up? Why must we make up for our mistakes, you ask? This is this Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Because in doing so, we can find the way back to our path. And once we've found our path, we can move on from our past mistakes for toward a brighter future. Limo? I swear for God. Thank you! At least that's what I felt looking at those two sisters. I thought you were done, Phoenix. Mr. God Wright damn it! <laughs> Mr. Gumshoe. Me! 
Thank you both for all that you've done. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Isn't that right? Edgeworth? E Edgeworth? Stop hiding and come over here. <laughs> Thank you, Red, for all them biddies, by the way. Have some tits or a uh, bit. <laughs> Thank you. Where was he hiding? Oh, I just came to it. say, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Right, well, I'll be going now. Don't go, lover. Mr. Edgeworth, I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. We were the ones who acted corruptly, not you. It's too late for me. No matter what anyone may say, I realize today that I can't change my own mistakes. Mr. Edgeworth? Not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gaunt was right. Flashback. You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. You're not the same. One day you'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. But in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. Or a cape. It's scary, <laughs> but I've been thinking the same thing for quite some time now. But Edgeworth. Who knows? Given enough time, I might have tried to pull something like Chief Gaunt did. That thought terrifies me. That's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. Edgeworth. Can you give me a defense attorney with me? <laughs> Don't you understand? Damon Gaunt and your mentor, Manfred von Karma. We're both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime. But they both made the same mistake. You said, in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. That may be wait, right. Wait. Okay, hold on. In order to fight crime alone, one needs a l weapon. That may be right. Okay, there we go. That may be right. But think back to today's trial. You weren't alone. You were working together with Mr. Wright. And because hey. of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Oh, uh, yeah. What is this? A pop quiz? Come on, Mr. Wright. Show him what Lana's talking about. Oh, God, no. Evidence. That neither Edgeworth or I have been able to find. Two halves of a whole cat. Uh. Two halves uh, of a whole cat. Uh, uh, the boomlet's dying. I can't go too far. D tell me. <laughs> <laughs> the evidence list, we each had a piece of it. Or, like, we each had oh, a piece. Oh, okay. So, evidence list. Check. <laughs> or, uh, present. That's the picture I drew. Our counter attack began with this. You had one half of the evidence list, and I had the other. Apart, we couldn't have been able to completely restore Emma's picture. That didn't just happen by chance, Edgeware. <laughs> it's time for me to go. Mr. Edgeworth. If you'll excuse me, there are still some loose ends that need wrapping up. Take care, Chief Prosecutor. There we go. Edgeworth! What will you do now? Well, whatever you do, just remember. We sleep together. <laughs> just remember, Trent. I'll be tickling you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in this trial can either make you break, make or break you as a prosecutor. In the end, it's up to you. I yourself. know. It seems I owe you my thanks too, right? 
But what I face now is my problem. Edgeworth, I'll be waiting for you in court. Farewell. Or tonight. Maybe come back. <laughs> I'd better be getting back too. Okay, I'll come visit you. It seems we both still have a lot to learn. Here, this is a little something for you. Scientific investigation? It's the first book I ever bought. Study it well. Really? That's the first book you ever bought in your life. Yeah. Thanks, ever. sis. I will. <laughs> Cute. And so, another came, came, another came, another case came to a close. And as did the Wii mode. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Now, as for the sisters, I have faith, like I do in this Wii mode. Okay. <laughs> faith that their lives. <laughs> have only just begun! <laughs> it really doesn't want to let this end! It's like, no, suffer. And as for me, Phoenix, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think it's time. <laughs> I started on a new journey of my own. A journey to rediscover myself. I love how Edgeworth was last. Just putting that Yeah, out. he was! God damn it, Gumshoe! I well, swear don't to go God. check it off just yet, pal. Fucking hell, Frog, thank you for this bit. <laughs> huh? What is it, Detective? <laughs> There's just a little matter to be resolved about the Chief Prosecutor. You see, she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this. We already had that discussion. But. be okay with me but the folks at the prison are a different story it's okay we already broke out of prison and they'll be fine <laughs> basically I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes believe me it wasn't cheap either <laughs> where'd you go detective I didn't know you had a wild side yeah well <laughs> you see mr. right here is the one who'll be footing the bill What, you think I could afford that with my salary? You gotta be kidding me, pal. What salary? You work for me now. Huh? huh? Anyway, huh? you're my bitch now. Thank you, Mr. Right. You're the best. Uh, why is it? I suddenly feel like I want to scream. Me too. Just like Since me with we're the here, up. why don't we all go out together? Yeah, that's a great idea. Am I paying for the bill? Come on, guys. Let's go. Objection! Objection! <laughs> I told you I had to scream. That was spoilers because I can't get past Let's Go! <laughs> I'm sorry. God damn it! Come on. Come on. Please, I beg you. I beg you. I just, I beg you. <laughs> Why? No! Oh my god. You were fine before. You, you were, you were trucking. You won't truck anymore, guys. He's mother oh. trucking. Yeah, well, I'm like into the credits now, so. Rude! I only need one more! <laughs> Cat gets left behind. Please! Please! I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God right now. Mother of God! Hold on, let me just like shake up the batteries. I don't know. I'm just like blowing on a cartridge at this point. <laughs> please? Please. Batteries, I swear to God right now. <laughs> just one button, just one fucking, one more. <laughs> Why? Why can't you do the last fucking 
selection! Oh my god. <laughs> so good right now. <sighs> I'm just watching everyone tell their stories about what they're doing. What they're gonna be doing now. Are those scroll throughs? Like, do I have to press no. through that? No, they just go. Well. I seriously just need one fucking button. I just need to press it once. Why? Everyone's pressing F! <laughs> No, I fucking hate you. I hate you too, Wiimote. I hate you too. Are these double A? It's Can time just... to break the Wiimote. Wrong <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> At least everyone's having fun. That's what matters. God damn it. Oh my god. I just need a little more juice. All I need in my life is just like a second. <laughs> That's all I need. Oh, they're again, uh, uh, I'm crying. It's fine. Oh, fuck off! You have enough juice to do this. You're on still. Why won't it? Why won't it? The sensor wasn't even on. Does that really matter? Yes. Wait, what just fell out? God damn it. <laughs> Thank you I'm for the bit, somebody. I'm just gonna post this in here because we have like sad. however long it takes Cat to, you know. Oh my god. No. Thank you for the bits again. Thank you, Miss Maga Chicken. <laughs> Why won't it fucking do this? All I need you, I swear to God. The Wiimote is seeking revenge. It has become self-aware. It is fucking on. Why is it not? Why won't it press the next button? Is the sensor I... bar on? No, but it hasn't been on this whole time. to god it won't turn on i thought the sensor bar had to be on uh it won't turn on i the switched the batteries bar? and it's like fuck you yeah um rude guys all i need why 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 it's one fucking battery that's not at full juice really 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 Crypto, thank you! Silent Shade, thank you! Oh my god! Ron, thank you so much. Everyone's being so sweet about this dead Weebo, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. I think I may have to fucking go get batteries for the last button! This is stupid! I'm so mad at this Weebo right now. <sighs> you know? I'm sorry. I can't have <laughs> Oh my god, why? Like why? I, I really don't understand why. This is bullshit. <laughs> I'm so mad at my Wemo right now. Like it couldn't do the last fucking button. Oh my god. Kid, why I want to turn on? Oh my god. Thank you for the bits, Nemo. Where I press F to do this. God damn it. Everyone's. <laughs> Wiimote. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Oh my God. Does it actually end? 
Um, or is it like a special scene at the end? Well, there was, but it's I'm way past, you know. Like I'm I'm at a part where I can examine a book and Emma's just chilling here. I didn't even see what happened. <laughs> I'm like way ahead of you now. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> You know what? Wow. It didn't even let me um, examine the thing. It just went to the uh, uh, title screen. So. Oh, well. Yeah. It only gave me, you know, that much time. So I switched the batteries back and the sensor still won't fucking turn off. I don't understand. I can never see the end. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't have enough batteries for six. Like, I swear to god right now. Thank you for the Vince Vampire Bob. Thank you, Japanime. Thank you, guys. Oh my god. I, I legit don't have <laughs> this many batteries. I only have, like, two. All I need you is to press one. Just, just need you to press one. Okay, I'm gonna guess go get batteries. Cause it's just it's not happening. It's not okay. Uh, I'm I'll just hang. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's You're not your back, fault. Guys. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh my god. Take this through. Damn it. So that was a game that we played. I'm done at least. One of us is done. The other not so much. <sighs> I think the real question is did the Wiimote plan it? Did the Wiimote plan this the whole time? Was it planned? The answer is yes. I mean, I'm so happy I stayed until the end. Abandon all hope, you who enter here. Exactly that. We're going to have to defend the Wiimote in court. <sighs> I'm glad you guys are all entertained. Was the Wiimote an inside job? I need answers. Uh, it was. It was that. Do you think that was it, Wolf Prince? Do you think she actually had to, like, wave the Wiimote? Oh, I wonder if that was it. If that was it, she's going to be mad. Cat, come back. Cat, come back. You can blame it all on me. Cat. Cat. <laughs> it didn't make me do it. Because you can, on the DS, you can scream objection into the microphone. It didn't make me do that. So, I wonder if she is supposed to do the objection. <laughs> Cat's hitting up a corner store. It's true. Cat. Cat, hold on. Wait. Cat. Cat. I hear you. We're about to find out. Wait, Cat. What? Um, can you try actually waving the Wiimote like an objection? Is that what you had to do? Because it says objection at the top. There's silence. There, I don't know. I, I won't. Fuck off! <laughs> not you, not you, the game.
this is fine. I don't care anymore. Oh my god. Thank you from for all the bits. Thank you so much for having Bob and Crescent and Kurt Dirt and Thank you guys. Oh my god. Damn it. Oh my god. It was showing me an arrow like it was supposed to be the next scene. Oh my god. Use my sorry. skirt to wipe off my face. Fuck. It didn't have me do that, so I didn't know to say that to you. Because I, I just clicked know. ahead. And it was fine. Uh, to be to rewatch this at the end <laughs> like after the stream <laughs> oh my god we betrayal at its finest <laughs> thank you red dude so i feel the greatest ending to a series ever thank you <laughs> 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 at least you guys had fun that's oh, a matter yeah, the bang that's for sure that's for fucking sure <laughs> oh my